Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, I won't stick us around too long. We will, uh, yeah, we'll dive into, into it because I was a bit late today, only a couple minutes. Um, but how's it going, everybody? Welcome. Welcome, welcome to the stream. How are you guys doing today? Are they indeed? Are they? Oh, that's the wrong name this morning. Check me a second. Boom, boom, boom. So here we are on the precipice of greatness today. Let me turn my music down. As we are finally, finally going to be going independent. It's civil war time, baby. It's goddamn civil war time. So that's going to be pretty exciting, I think. Hopefully lots of big battles. We're going to become emperor. And then it's just conquering the whole way to the bank. But how's it going, everybody? Uh, how's it going, uh, Jeremy? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we're going to marry her daughter or not. Uh, we can... No, I think we just need to do our... We can just marry someone else, I think. Uh, it's not that important. It's honestly not... It doesn't even matter if we get married or not. How's it going, Hudson? Welcome. How's it going, Martin? Welcome back. Ironhead, good to see you here. PSY, good to see you here. I saw you were one of the first people to comment, so... How you been doing? Well, uh, when is the Lord of the Rings mod coming out? No idea, my friend. Your guess is as good as mine. But how's it going? Welcome. How's it going, Freezy? Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching on VR? God damn, that's crazy. But she has great skills. I mean, we can just marry her afterwards, right? Like, I'm sure it'll be fine. Am I drinking Gamer Subs? I'm about to drink some Gamer Subs, yes. Unfortunately, though, I only have what I would say is the below average flavors left. I I'm out of all the amazing flavors that I've been drinking. So I'm only drinking the blue flavor, which I wouldn't recommend. Um, I am sponsored by Gamer Subs. If you guys want to check them out, they're a 0% sugar energy drink. They're a great alternative to stuff like coffee, whether it's you're trying to look to save money, you're trying to uh, you know kind of cut down on your coffee and manage your caffeine a bit more. All that stuff is great. You can check them out, exclamation mark subs in chat. You save 10% if you use my code um, and they ship around the world. We did find out last time though that they actually, the shipping to the UK is actually like 10 pounds, which is quite a lot. I feel like unless you're going to buy like two tubs, which I, I highly recommend, um, it's probably not worth it. You're only buying a tub. But yeah, I definitely go check them out. Exclamation mark subs in the chat if one of the mods, if there are any mods here, wants to do that. Um, and yeah, check them out. They have amazing flavors. Uh, if you guys want any recommendations on checking them out, if it's like, oh, Jackie, I'm not sure what flavor to try, feel free to ask me. Stop yapping and play the game. Uh, Hudson, I'm going to time you out, my friend. Uh, for five minutes. Feel free not to come back. <laughs> if that annoys you. Uh, but yeah, don't tell me what to do, my friend. Otherwise, we're going to sit here for another five minutes and I ain't going to I ain't gonna play the game. We're just going to chat. I'm joking, of course. But yeah. Don't be so rude online. I ain't your mother, boy, but I will still punish you. <laughs> Let's all see in chat. No, no, no. We're going we're gonna to dive into this. Um, yeah, of course. Civil War time, baby. I forgot by... Uh, uh, I put that last time. No, it's all good. It's all good. Some people, though, uh, you know... Some, sometimes you just got to lay down the law. And this is no nonsense Friday, okay? This is no nonsense Friday. We're about to become emperor. We can't just sit idly by and let the, the plebs talk to... i oh, sorry, plebs. We didn't decide to call you guys plebs because it was too rude, right? The, uh, the non-members decided to call you guys citizens. Can't have the citizens talk to me like that. If you were a member, then... Oh, yeah, of course. I would, uh, I would abide by what you're saying, but... Cool. So I'm going to give it like a little bit longer because obviously we're about to embark on an epic crusade. I am about to hit this button. Oh my god. Oh, I might just cheat. I might just spawn in like 60 men because we've spent way too long waiting for this and for some reason it's dipped below. So I might just spawn in like... Oh no, we can just grab some men from the garret. No, we... Yeah, I might just spawn in some soldiers because we're literally 30 men off of this. Don't worry. I'm just going to cheat, but I think it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, but sorry, let me keep on saying... Let me just finish up by saying hey to everybody. Um, 
yeah, uh, let's just let's just say hey to everybody in chat, and then we're gonna we're gonna dive in and start the civil war. How's it going, Sup as well? Good to see you back, man. How you doing today? Um, XTRAX says, man, it would be crazy if someone gifted me. Uh, oh, sorry, I thought you said gifted you a membership, not Battle Lord. Don't think anyone's gonna do that. Um, cheater. Yeah, I think I think it's worth it for twenty men. I feel like last time it's not even a hundred more. It's like oh, we can actually have that as well. Can I just, like, automatically get it? Close. Not really, though. Yeah, we're, like, so close. It's literally, like, 20 more men. I'll, I'll just take some crappy men. I won't take good ones. I mean, not that it really matters, but let's just cheat. Oh, wait. Well, let's just take 10 of those. 10 auxiliaries. And some Iberian warriors. Oh, the number hasn't gone up. I wonder if it's going to be a daily thing. Banner, Lord, Banner King's got a huge update. Oh, nice. I'll take a look at it for sure. Free Hudson. <laughs> hey, I'm a, I'm a tyrannical. I'm a tyrannical lord, okay? How's it going, Sultan? Uh, as well, Tyler. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's it going, Emmanuel? What's up? Uh, I'm good. Thank you, my friend. Um, but yeah, no, I'll check out Banner Kings. What was, uh, what was new in the update? Was it more of just like a crash fixing period? I mean, and Banner Kings was never an, the issue. It was Banner Kings cultural expanded, which was a big problem that I think caused a lot of the issues. Also, if you guys didn't know, the 100 mod playlist actually has been updated over on Noctorian server. So if you guys are looking for a big new playlist, I, I probably am going to have to cover it. I need to join that server again. Um, and cover it again. Or maybe just even Noctorian wants to send me his mod list so I can just copy it. Um, but yeah, I think he recently just updated it, which was pretty cool. Um, cool. So let's leave. Do we have to wait the day? Oh, we do. That's so annoying, man. And they're all going to leave. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just wait the day. Just keep on checking. Yeah, now we've all of a sudden got a bunch more men. Oh, this is so annoying. I wish we could just fire it. We've got like half the army. Okay, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. I'm clicking the button right away. We even got more clans as well. So, okay, here we go. Are we ready? Are we ready to start this civil war? We actually got more clans as well. Which, I mean, we kind of did cheat to, to get this, but I think it's... Oh, God. Stop, stop, stop. Don't... Don't mess me up. So, yeah. So, we're about to start a civil war. I mean, again, the empress might just accept it, okay? The empress might just be like, yeah. How's it going, Josh, as well? I hope you're doing good, man. Uh, the empress might just be like, I'm not going to fight you because you have so many soldiers and so many clans. So, we'll have to see if she's going to actually fight us. If she doesn't, we're probably still going to just declare war on her to take Rome. I feel like that's a good... I feel like that's a good play, is we declare war and we go for Rome. So let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before we do, let's get to 50 likes. We need three more likes on the stream and I'll declare war. So if you haven't already, drop a like and then we'll go. Then we'll go, go, go. You gotta go, you gotta be back in 45. Right, see you later, Sultan. Have a good class, man. What mods are we using? Mainly Eagle Rising. Uh, my entire mod list is over on my Discord, though, if you want to check it out. Uh, and let's do it. Let's do it. Let's declare war. Imagine if it went away. Start rebellion. On the 21st day of summer, 335. Metellius declared the creation of a new realm. The Macro League. The Imperial Romanon Rebels. Look at all my boys in their horrible clothes. Look at me, but I look like an absolute beast. Here we go. My my beautiful cape as well. God, I really should have given them better clothing, shouldn't I? I know, finally the succession. It's been a while, hasn't it? We've been trying to do this, and we kind of have cheated to do this. But look at that banner! Oh, that banner looks juicy. All right, so we'll have to see you, if the Empress... We'll have to see if the Empress is going to stop us or not. She might declare war on us. She might not. No, I'm just I'm just doing some gamer subs quickly. Yo, Josh, thank you so much for about 54 months. Every time I see you and your membership, it gets crazier and crazier. Thank you so much, man. 
Really do appreciate that. The King tier is a huge level to support the channel. I am really grateful. As always, Josh, I hope you're doing well. All right, let's do this. Um, and macro join the macro leagues. I'm joining the own. I'm I'm joining my own league. <laughs> Great, cool. I should have saved before. Oh my god, you can see right up my skirt as well. That's just how we do things in the macro league. Now rise, macro. <laughs> civil war breaks out. She denied it. A civil war is broken out. We. Oh my god. Uh, the Macro League Imperial Romanum Rebels are led by Clan Macro. The rebels demand that their lands be allowed to secede from the kingdom. And here we are. Look at how much joined us, though. Oh, I like that. I like that Corsica joined us. Patavium joined us. All of this joined us as well. So, yeah, look at all the clans as well. So, if we go... we This is what's annoying, though, is we're, we're not technically in a kingdom, so I can't do it until we win. So, what what is our objectives here? Okay, so I think, of course, uh, we need to get every, obviously everybody into an army. I think so. We'll get all our companions in here. You, these people are pretty far away, but I think we we also just try and grab them as well. We have no imp. It got rid of all our influence. No, because it kicked us out. We had like so much. But like, I can at least get I can at least get my companions into an army. That's still good. That's still nine hundred men. Let's wait till daytime. Let's make our way south and do this. Granted, we're going to be getting at least five a day now, which is good. Apparently, as well, I have too many furfs, so I'm getting minus 12 influence. What? Yeah, there's a, there's a lot we need to do now. Okay, that's fine, though. So, so what is our goal? Do we focus? I mean, I think, I think our goal here. So let, let's talk war strategy. War council assemble. If we take a look at the war... It's very close. We have similar soldiers. We have more settlements, actually. But we have a similar armies. So if we smash their army once, it should be pretty hard for them to come back from it, right? We just have to hit their army hard and destroy it. And I think... I think moving and probably, like, taking something like this early is going to be our plan of action. Because this is central, so we can kind of apply it. I think, I think we're going to head north and go to Batavium. So we can, we can go down to Stalia... And siege that. I kind of almost want to ignore these settlements in the north. And I want to kind of... Because, yeah, this war's going to be on for a while. Just do a war of attrition. Yeah. This is all safe. Luckily, all of my lands are, are safe, you know? So I think, I, think we, I think we start moving. We do a little bit of a Hannibal. And we start marching. We start marching into, into, into Rome. And I think I have a perfect... Oh, God. Wrong way, wrong way. I have the perfect song for it as well. Let's just start heading heading our way over. Hold on, hold on. This one? Nope. Okay, here we go. Let's turn that shit up. Let's go. Brave warriors! I have won great renown through leading men to victory. I see no reason to change the habits of a lifetime today. As we march through the Alps, so be not who will stand in my attacks. way? Carry the fight to the enemy. Give him not a moment's rest. Scream your defiance in his face. Stab him, kick him, bite him, cut out his liver, and... Let's go. As we march past the Alps into the belly of Rome. I'm glad we own this castle as well. Keep in mind, though, that we are fighting. We are fighting true Romans now. We have fought along these. They've been my brothers in arms. So we know their worth. We know their quality. We know that they are as good as any man following me. However, Rome deserves a leader. A leader that can lead her to glory.
Where are her armies going to strike first, I wonder? As I said, I think we move up to this castle. You can see recruiting over in Stalia. My, my previous lord, the senator I followed into battle, owns this. I do not look forward to fighting you on the battlefield, my friend. Let's move. And set. Okay, they're, they're, they're in Batavium. I think we go to Batavium. I think this is where we fight them. Bump, bada, bump, bada, bump, bada, bump. Yeah, let's march. We march to Batavium for glory. I just hope we can arrive in time. Let's go. Make sure as well we keep our entire army up to scratch. And look at this as well. We also have 67 soldiers we've just been, you know, following around. These aren't the best soldiers. Actually, I say that. There's, there's 31 of our tier 4s here. Which we can just grab at any time. Let's go. Yo, sup. Thank you so much for the donation, dude. Consider a rebellion Caesar would be best. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, Titus the Bull there. We we're going to ignore him and just head to Batavium. I think with as much speed as we can muster. Thank you so much, Mr. Freeze as well. I know the music's loud, by the way, as well, but I'm, I'm living my life. Thank you so much, Freeze, for the, the, the dollar, dude. I really appreciate that. Uh, it's your first super chat as well. Thank you so much, man. If you guys are enjoying this, if you are hyped, be sure to drop a like because, yeah, this civil war is going to make or break the campaign. Imagine if we lose... Right, we can turn the music down a little bit. Okay, I'm hoping we're going to arrive in Batavium. They're, they're not attacking yet. Okay, good. And um, there's a bunch of my armies here as well. Good, this is good. I now have a bit of influence. Do I have enough? I have enough for a few of these guys, I think. Not enough. Oh, I have enough for you. Okay, that's another 83 men. And he's literally right in front of me. Good. Let's go. Oh, God, he attacked. Okay, well, we have to help out here first. And I kind of feel like we have to fight this battle. I know it's not the most exciting battle. Whatever is besieging Batavium is going to be the main battle. But I have to minimize casualties. An auto resolve will not do in this war. So sharpen your swords, my men. Sharpen your swords. This should be a fairly e easy engagement. We're going to go with a little formation off to the right, a little formation off to the left. We also have a center line as well. We've all this cavalry as well. I want to try and save my cavalry. I know that that will go down quickly. We'll wait and see. We have barely anyone as well. Okay, so they're going to form up there, which is fine. They basically only have infantry. Keep in mind, but remember, guys. Remember, this is no measly orc army. Go like there. Big blocks. Yeah, three big blocks of infantry. One, two. Yeah, one, two, three. Well, actually, one one can go here. Two there, and then three can go here. So one, two, three. Yeah, perfect. I'm going to try and save my cavalry. This is going to be invaluable in the upcoming battle, and I just don't think we need it. Let's push forward. Forward, men. Yeah, the auto resolve. I mean, it, it's the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away, right? Okay, let's just push up. It would be fun. The AI could. Yeah, and I think what we'll do as well is we will. Okay, let's push up a little bit more. I want to get in javelin, javelin range. Push up a block there, and push up a block here. Don't know why you guys are so tight, but that's fine. Let's go. Let's go. Look at this. We also need to think about what color we want to be. I don't think I want to be. The, I don't think I want to be black Romans. So we might end up changing up our, our our look. All right, let's get a little bit up. We can push into the river a little bit. We just need we just need javelins coming in and then free. I don't know why you guys are so tightly packed. Javelins are going in against the cavalry. It's a bit of a waste. Yeah, everybody hold fire now until we get a little bit closer. Oh, they're throwing their javelins now. Okay, 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 okay. Everybody now throw. Give them hell, boys. Destroy shields. 
Let's start moving the flanks around, right? Let's start moving these flanks. You guys are taking the brunt of the assault. Let's keep on going. We should be throwing in a lot of javelins. Destroying a lot of shields as well. Okay, I'm going to use my cavalry now. Let's push our cavalry all the way around the back. Remember, every shield we kill is huge. It's going to make our battle line just about a little bit more effective. Okay, our main bolt get in the river. Ideally, it would be really good. I mean, you guys get right around the side. Yeah, it would be really good, honestly, if we can force them into the river. Because that is just... Oh, they're, they're pushing now. They're pushing. All right, boys, get ready to hold. You guys are already around the side as well. Unreal. And I think, honestly, we just, we just literally just closed the just... Oh, am I going to die? <laughs> that Praetorian almost killed me. Yeah, I think, honestly, we just charged now. We'll let the boys come in. They're going to completely wrap around. I'll come in here and deal with some of the, uh, the archers. My cavalry is now pushing forward. I want to basically set the cavalry up. Yeah, I want to set the... Oh, my God. I just went down. Oh, no. That's not good. What even hit me? I guess a crossbow bolt. Okay, our line there is coming in. We're one of the infantry boys now. Okay, the, I don't know why the cavalry is attacking so much. I literally just want you guys set up like so. Yeah, I don't know why that cavalry was... These guys have got so stuck there. Let's pull them back. Because this flank is going to come around and finish off the battle. Until then, though. Let's have a little javelin or two. Yeah, there we go, there we go. It should be a quick, easy engagement. I'm not looking for a, a victory without casualties, of course, but you're just minimizing them. I was kind of hoping the Peeler would do a bit more damage, considering we had like 600. But, you know, didn't, didn't pop off as much as I wanted to. We'll focus down these more elite soldiers, because we know that they're a little bit tankier. Okay, the cavalry is now fully set up. Sit on their marches and then just crush in. I mean, we've already broken them through. Can I lead, like, the army through? Yeah, let's, let's just push these guys through now. I'm going to push these guys manually. I get a bit of old Jackie Fish pull through. Hit them. Hit them. Yeah, keep on pushing. The cavalry is now here. Okay, now the cavalry comes in. They're running. Good. Look at them flee. And hopefully we capture some faction leaders, right? That'd be nice. There we go. How many did we lose? We lost six men. I feel like that's better than the auto resolve, right? Six dead. I mean, I went down as well, so I'm classed as one of those casualties. Yeah. There we go. Not many left. Not many of them left now. Run down what remains of them. And the good thing is, nine, 19 upgrades this isn't a lot, but it adds up, right? Don't know where that. There we go. Nice. Good job. Good job. Good job. And this influence is so important because remember, we basically have barely any. Prisoners, good. So we're gonna take all of these all these high-ranking prisoners. Because remember, if we if we get in a pinch, we can basically just recruit them into our army. Yeah, we can basically just recruit them. We already have 73 ready to be recruited, so it's kind of like a backup army. Uh do we need money? We kind of probably do need money. I also need to heal as well. Uh, let's take as much loot as we can, but we will still keep the 10,000 experience, of course. Yeah, a minor battle, but these minor battles are important to win, for sure. Let's take the food. No horses. Uh, let's take all of that. And that. There we go. Cool. Sorry, let me turn the music down a little bit as well. Okay, so we are wounded. Tavium is holding. How many men are here, though? Okay, that's a decent army. That is a decent army. I need to wait till I, I'm healed anyway before going in. Let me turn down my music just a tad as well. As epic as it is. It's a little bit too loud. Let's go back to the Paradox soundtrack as well now. There we go. Okay, let's get back to this civil war time, baby. Okay, so we should probably recruit some more men. Are there any big parties? Not really. This guy's up to 172 as well now. But I mean, every every man, woman, and child will be useful. We also need to obviously make sure we can keep this army together as well. So let's do something like that. 
Okay. So we're going to heal, of course. Who else declared war on us? Oh, these guys rebelled? That's fine. That settlement has rebelled so many times. And they're attacking now. Good. Okay, we are healed, basically. We'll let the garrison whittle them down. We're going to wait till daytime. And we're going to go. Okay, what, what do you guys think? How much... How much? How much do we want to? How much do we want to have a? Re do, would you guys rather a really cool battle, or would you rather I I play to win? A cool battle or or play to win? Because I can attack this army now and it'd be a thousand men against like eleven hundred, or I could let the garrison whittle them down. I feel like a cool battle is where it's at, right? Like a big battle. You know, we need to show the rest of Rome that we are... Cool battle. Okay, you guys have me at hello. Let's go. Oh, no, we get the garrison as well, right? Yeah, we get the garrison. Nice. And here we go, the Empress. This is a showdown. This is the showdown. We are fighting the Empress. Are there any other party leaders here as well? Era, my love. I'm sorry, though. I can never marry you. Our path just never crossed. Yeah, we've started a rebellion. We've literally, this is our second battle in it. They're sieging us at Batavium. So I think we fight this battle, and then whatever we have left over, we probably come back and we, we maybe try and take Stalia uh, and come on it, and then we march to Rome. I think that's going to be our victory path, is I want to take these two, I want to take this in the Alps to secure the Alps for us, and then I also want to take Stalia, because it's just a very good coastal town, and when we, when we do a march down to Rome. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Again, we outnumber them, which is very nice. The militia will charge them as well and die. Yeah, so the militia is going to charge forward, I think, which is good for us. Okay, how are we going to do this then? So how, let's, see, let's see what our army consists of though first, I guess. So her army is decent cavalry, heavy infantry. Like, so she basically has a similar army to me, right? She has 400 infantry and then 60 cav either flank. We have a little bit more infantry and less cavalry. Good to know. Okay, so this is what I think we're going to do. Infantry blocking in the center. You guys position there. We'll have a force. We'll have a force like so on the flanks in, in like a wedge formation. You guys will be coming... No, is it these guys? Sorry, yeah. So then you guys, number three, will become crushing in that flank. Down the hill, brutally. And then we'll have our second line come ready to come out the forest at them. And envelop them. Yeah. Then our cavalry. I think our cavalry sits in the back. And gets ready to hit them as they come through. Because I mean we're fighting Roman cavalry though. Which is much more frontal. Because we've been, we've, been, we've, we've, we've been very used to fighting the Germanic cavalry right. The Germanic cavalry has been brutal. Just like the Harkonids. Brutal. They've been very scary. Because they get round the back of you. They throw javelins. Whereas this is Roman cavalry. This is melee cavalry. Okay, yeah, so I basically want three positions. We'll have... I feel like I want to retreat back a little bit, you know? But Forest is just a really good flanking tool. It disrupts a lot of the cavalry. But I also very much want you guys up on this hill. Yeah, I very much want you guys... I can maybe even turn you a bit, because she's not splitting her infantry. Everybody hold fire as well. I do not want you guys to waste javelins. Okay. I mean, oh, yeah, I also forgot... Sorry, I forgot about my 13 archers as well. <laughs> you guys get over here. In loose, please. Okay, let's let them close. Oh, sorry, this this is also awful music. Hold on, let me get some hype music. Um, hold on, we need we need some hype music. Go on, give me the good song. Here we go, boys. We need hype music for this. The drums of war! I need to be careful as well. I am pretty, pretty low on HP. This is going to be hard, though, because they have a very strung out line. We're going to go into shield wall with our main line. And we're going to go 
pretty long. We're going to need reinforcements quickly. Okay, I'm going to send my cavalry out to deal with these guys. Cavalry push out here. Go, go, go. Okay, you guys need to like almost turn, I guess. Yeah, you guys turn for now because you're about to be charged. Everybody. So are you guys actually. Are you guys getting charged? You are. Okay, you guys form square quickly. Square, square, square. Front line, fire a will. You guys turn just in the nick of time. I'm hoping that's going to be enough. Let's get stuck in. Yeah, we're killing the cavalry. Oh my god, we're killing a lot of the cavalry. This is amazing. Hold the line! Okay, we're disrupting them. We're disrupting them. Javelins are coming out. Okay, on this side, you guys... I kind of think we just hold... I kind of feel like we just hold, hold that forest line. I kind of... We're dragging off a lot of their infantry. I think we just hold it. All right, you guys dealt with the cavalry. Turn now. Turn, turn, turn. Let's get stuck in, boys. Push in. Push in. Our army in the forest will have to hold the line. You guys push down now. Yeah, you, you guys did amazing with the anti-cav. We killed so much of their cav. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. I don't want you guys... I don't want you guys stopping. Go, go, go. Our front line is holding. Our square is under a lot of pressure right now. Go forward, forward. Let's throw some javelins in here. Right, boys. Okay, get ready, get ready. Again, remember. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. You guys are being here. That's fine, now charge. You have some men behind you. You guys will go deal with them. The rest will go into the line. How's our line over there holding? It's holding, it's holding. There's a lot of enemies, though. Okay, we'll come in. We'll do a little bit of damage here and there. Yeah, this is what I'm scared of over on this flank. We need to basically get over there quickly. Okay, you guys are finishing up there. Let's go make sure we help out. We've got some, we've got some Spanish mercenaries. They'll be paid well. Men are filtering in. Yeah, finish with these guys. We need to get over there. Let's get our archers up on the hill quickly so they can start firing in. Go, go, go. How's our cavalry looking? Cavalry is struggling. Cavalry is struggling. How are their cavalry looking, though? Their cavalry's also been decimated. Good job. Okay, my cavalry reform here. Reform and then deal with these guys, okay? Reform, deal with their crossbows. Take these guys out quickly. Wrap around. Yeah, basically just sit them on top. The front line is doing a good job now. We need to reinforce the forest bow quickly. I need this cavalry to deal with these guys and then... And then we can charge into the infantry line again. No, I feel like I'm the one killing all of these guys. All right, cavalry, on me. On me, horses. Let's form, let's form a shield wall. Shield wall! They're, they're falling back, they're falling back. Push, push, push. On me, boys. Into the abyss. The Rome! Good job, good job. Now rattle around, rattle around. Hit them, hit them as they pull back. They're reforming. Do not give them any quarter. Good job. Look at that cavalry. Look at the cavalry. Yes. They're coming back for more. Their reinforcements are re have reinforced. Yeah, they're going back for more. They really, they, they disrupt, they fame retreated there. Okay, we need, we need these guys. We need these guys to come in. Do we? Can we? Can we afford? Oh, look at that cavalry. I don't think we can, honestly. Keep on hitting them. Keep on hitting them. Go, go, go. Keep on. Where are you guys going? Come back, come back. I need you guys over here. It's Praetorian Guard there. Yeah, I need you guys like over here now. Like yesterday, please. I don't care if they're pulling back. I'll deal with them. You're not getting out either, my friend. The Optio is down. There's a lot of enemy cavalry, though. We need to deal with this like ASAP. We need to deal with this eight enemy cav, enemy cav, clash them, clash them. Yeah, we need to we need to finish this off quickly. There's a lot of enemy cav, so the more of this we kill now, the better it's gonna be for us. Just slash him. This is a brawl. Legionaries down here as well. We got our own Praetorians here. Nice, good to see. Okay, let them, let them out. We need to reform, boys. Okay. Alright. All right, what a battle so far. Let's reform the line, reform the line. Okay, 
We only have 70 men here as well. Yeah, our flanking force took an absolute smashing there. And give a cavalry back as well. Yeah, cavalry uniform. Our archers are chilling. Let them escape. Woo! What an exchange. There were some good tactics there. All right, let's turn the music back down. We've got a bit of a, a bit of a chill period now as both sides reform. Oh, yeah, we need we need the time to reform. So let's see what they've got now. Are they play. I think they're playing passive now. I think I think they're on the back foot now. Yeah. Okay, then let's push. I am scared about going into a forest, but okay, let's get everybody. Let's get everybody into a, in set up basically. So you guys are now my new front line. Get a normal line push up. Then we have you guys who are a bit better. Go there. And then you guys are going to be my force going through the forest. We have some cavalry left, but not a lot. Cavalry just following me. Whoa, that was an intense battle, wasn't it? Ooh. But remember, this is this is not just... This battle doesn't win us the war, right? We might capture the Empress, but in Bannerlord, that does not matter. The way we win this war... They, they will regain their strength within moments. They will go back to Rome and re-rally the men. We all know what Hannibal feels like. Sorry, I should be doing this as well. Sorry, I should have gone full cinematic. I apologize. You guys didn't want to see the UI. Okay, their cavalry is moving on that right flank. Do they just have one? No, they have cavalry. Yeah, they have, we have to be very careful. They have 100 horse now. That must mean they have barely any infantry, yeah. It's moments like this where I wish I had the, uh, where I wish I had the 2,000 man battle size on, you know? Because that would have just been one massive engagement. Let's hold the line now, boys. Hold! Okay. I don't, I don't particularly want to go into the forest and fight them, you know? So I think, I think I'm going to anchor around, honestly. Yeah. I think I'm going to push my infantry up here. My main line. Oh, they're, they're, they're coming towards me, right? Yeah, they are coming towards me. Okay, good. Okay, so main line form up here. I want them to come out the forest. Then, where does that line end? Here. Okay, so then, yeah, but, but our flanking force can go like there to protect from cavalry charges. And then you guys are going to push up and help me with the, the cavalry on this right flank. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cavalry, right flank. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Everybody fire at will as well now as well. I'm very scared of that cavalry back there. Okay, reform, reform. The cavalry's coming. Let's, let's try and break up the charge with my own charge. Kill horses if we can. Hit him there. Let's just get stuck in. Remember, this cavalry is not great. It's Roman melee cavalry. The main goal here, though, is just to disrupt them. Get Take the wind out of them so they just get stuck on our front line. And then the infantry can just tear them apart. Okay, the lines have now clashed. They're killing... Okay, the good thing is they're going after them. They have a lot of archers as well. Okay, so then take, take our flanking force. We need to get around here in the infantry fight. And then we're going to push over and try and deal with their... Oh, you guys are a bit loose, honestly. Kind of wish I formed a shield wall. Oh, they've got the scraps in there, though. Let's push over to the archers. They do have a hundred of them back here. In the forest. Well played there by the AI. Let's get stuck in there. One already killed. Let's wrap around. That's a lot of archers. Okay, you guys need to charge now. Yeah, you guys need to charge in. We're going to fall back a little bit. Through the trees. Luckily, their trees also obscure them. Got men in the back here. Oh, we need to be very careful. Okay, reinforcements have arrived. Yeah, I need you guys around now as well. You guys need to charge as well. So cavalry back there, man. Oh, I took a hit. I took a hit. One more and I'm down. Let's get out of there. Let's get out of there. Make way. Oh, God, I just made it through. The flanking. No, I'm down. Okay. I think all my companions are down as well. I'm just, an, I'm just a normal soldier now. Okay, we'll be fighting on the ranks. Make way for the emperor. The men cheer. Okay, let's keep on pushing now. Get stuck in. Oh, it's not looking good. The dire straits have erupted. The emperor is down. We need men. We need courage now. Courage from the average soldier. Push in. Push in. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I need to do this as well. More cinematic. Yeah, we need the... Okay, cavalry! Left flank! 
Uh, do we go form a square? We, we're closing in on the infantry with cavalry, though, man. Keep on pushing. Try and take out as much of his cav as possible. Okay, I'm down. Okay, I'm holding a banner now. Okay, we, we've we've circle enveloped the infantry, though. The enemy cav. We might have to fall back, you know. Oh, they're routing! A bunch of them are... No, don't you dare. Don't you dare! Banner Lord! No! Anakin! Oh, man. It's fine. We, we go again. Sometimes Banner Lord just got to do Banner Lord things, okay? We'll go a bit more gung-ho, okay? We'll go a bit more gung-ho in this... Did I save it? I better have saved it. It's fine. We're going to go straight back in. And I'm going to be a bit more aggressive now. We won't, be, we won't be doing as much role play. We'll get through this battle quickly, okay? Yeah, I, I think I should have... I think I should have told... I, should, I think we should have fallen back after taking that engagement. There were a lot of enemies. Sometimes it'd be like that, you know? Banner Lord is a cruel mistress, okay? God, that was a good battle. Okay, we're here. Cool. Let's head our way there. I think we need to recruit some men quickly. Yeah, recruit as many as we can. Let's get over here. And we go again. We need to wait until I'm healed, of course. Any reinforcements waiting on 40 men. That place rebelled again. Okay, I'm going to heal up a little bit. And we're going to go. Let's go. Oh, we'll wait till daytime, of course. Daytime, please. Okay, let's go. Uh, cool, and I'll drop a save here as well. And so it begins. And so it starts. Let's drop a save here, and then we'll go again, okay? And we're going to go... We're going to go very aggressive. We're out for blood in this one. Oh god, we, st we spawned so close as well. Okay, this time, what we're going to do... Still going to be using legendary tactics, okay? One square. Then the flanking forces here. And here. Everybody hold fire. Cavalry. I think, I think I'm going to leave the cavalry again up like a beautiful downhill charge up here. And cavalry also form, uh, form shield wall as well. Okay, let's form up. Everybody hold fire. The problem is, the javelin volley we're going to receive to begin with is going to be brutal. The plan is, though, to basically just crush them. Like so. Oh, the cavalry's already engaging. God damn it. Charge, charge, charge. Let's get over there. Nice. Kill that banner carrier. Okay, everybody fire at will now. Fire at will, fire at will. Throw them javelins. Back and forth, back and forth. How's the cavalry fight doing? Shield. So I, d I don't particularly love shield wall, honestly, when I'm throwing peeler. I feel like they throw less peelum when you do that. Okay, they're really going on this flank, which is fine. Okay, so you guys. Uh, I kind of want to just let them bait them in. You guys can engage. So you stay in formation, right? Or are you guys just going to ignore these guys? gonna happen okay they're clashing against us okay guys hold, hold the line then hold the line just like just like kill what you have yeah we're, we're gonna let them like clash into us because i feel like the ai is very aggressive uh and like it really was like i end up losing men as we push forward a lot of wounded so far so good let's clean let's clean these guys up quickly let's clean these guys up quickly good good good, good job good job let's finish them off finish them off I want this line completely free. Oh, enemy cab, enemy cab. It's elite cab as well. Yeah, good, good job. Okay, you guys have done a good job. Okay, let's, let's form up here and help out. More Pelum going out as well. Perfect. The square is holding. Are you guys finished? Yeah, you guys are... Uh, you guys are still fighting a little bit. Okay, you guys charge. Deal with them quickly. Oh, enemy cab. Beautiful enemy cab charge behind us, though. We're about to come flying in their backs, though. It's going to be good. Friend or foe. Foe. Hold! Get ready, boys. We're about to come flying in. 
Give them no quarter. Okay, let's charge him now. Charge him. Beautiful stuff there. How's this flank doing? That flank is still clearing up. Let's go help out. The enemy cab has reformed. Where's my cab at? Scattered? Yeah. We need to kind of bring our cab back a little bit. They're a bit too far away. The enemy reinforcements will be coming in soon. Let's help out finishing here. Ooh. Dealing with the enemy cab. Just slow it up. Slow it up so the infantry can deal with it. There's a lot of Praetorian guard here as well. I'm surrounded as well by Praetorians. Quickly pay them off. There's a foot guard there. Yeah, there's a lot of good soldiers here. Okay, you guys are filtering in, but I think it's fine. My cab is now returning. A lot of them are getting stuck into the melee fight, which is so stupid, but alas. That is Bannerlord. Okay, now, good, good, good. So they're, they're reinforcing now. Perfect. They're reinforcing. We're, we're, we're basically putting pressure on their flanks. I think now our, our front line... Sorry, I think... Yeah, I think our front line... And engage. Cool. Our front line should now be cr collapsing them. Because as you can see, we're putting pressure left flank. We're putting pressure right flank. We need to push through the center. We basically just need to make a hole somewhere. Because one flank has to give up. They can't... They can't stay here for long. They can't stay here forever. One side is going to have to break at some point. Whether it's for left flank, whether it's for right flank. Doesn't matter what flank it is. They can't keep this up. They just don't have enough men. And we just need to help out as best as we can. Follow me, Bicephalus. Into battle. Careful, we need to get in way, we're getting way too deep there as well. Roman Limbo is thick. Remember, these are brave warriors. These aren't soldiers. These are men. Monsters. Keep on breaking that line, boys. Everybody should be charging now as well. Nobody should be playing passive. That line, though, it's, it's like crumbling, but it's just not also not. They have no, no part of their formation. Their AI is doing a great job. Oh, they're pulling back. They're pulling back. Okay, we should be able to get a lot of kills right now. Yeah, we're not, remember, we're not going to chase this massively because they just spawn in so much cavalry. Okay, my cavalry reform. Get as many kills as we can and then we need to reform again, remember. They're coming back again. Okay, cool. They decided to fight, which is good. I'm happy I saved my cav. Okay, I think this is as far as we go. Right? I don't think I, don't think I commit anymore. Yeah, let's just deal with this. Last guy. Okay, let's reform. Let's reform. Let's reform and see what we've got to work with. In our cavalry. I, we, we, we lost more men that time. Unfortunately. That, 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 that engagement didn't go as well for us as the first one did. But now we have time. Reform, reform, reform. Okay, we have, we have a bit of time to talk now, guys. Look at their army reforming. It's insane. They should push us, though. Okay, so I think... Again, you guys let me know. I think we merge Cohort 2 and Cohort 3 together. They're both looking a little bit weak. We Cohort 1 is still basically at full strength. 132 men. Cohort 2 and Cohort 3... Are looking a bit weak. So I think we merge them, yeah? Manic thinks I'm going to lose. Are you willing to bet money on that? Are you willing to bet members on that? Because I don't think we are. Yeah, I, I think we merge them. I think we merge the two cohorts together. So let's select that. We go there. We transfer. Oh, no. We transfer the other way. Because we got a better leader in command of, Legio, uh, of cohort three. Yeah, so we do this. Because cohort three is a better better commander he's fought through many a gallic war so let's do that yeah let's do that so let's go let's go two f5 and we do this imagine if i could just drag and drop man it'd be so much easier okay cool reform over so now we have we have cohort one and we have cohort three full strength so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set them up nothing crazy reform and we're gonna sit the archers just in in the middle There they are, boys. This is really the last, last that they have.
They have killed. They have so much cavalry. Okay, I think this is what we do, honestly. I think what I'm going to do, actually, because they have so much cavalry, is we're going to have a front line, like so. And then we're going to have a secondary front line. So we can catch cavalry as it charges us. They just have so much cavalry, man. Do we fall back as well? I think we do. I think we fall back to the forest. That will obviously reduce their cavalry advantage. So let's pull back. Let's not do anything stupid here. Am I going to continue in the name of Jerusalem? Uh, probably not the campaign we were playing, no. Oh, sorry, I've seen, I saw you spamming at like 7, so I'm just going to answer that. But No plans immediately to play more. Maybe in, in the next couple updates I will. Yeah, we fall back. We fall back for sure to the forest line. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get back. Get back. Get back. There's wounded. There's a lot of wounded here as well. The forest line should help us out massively, Bo. Yeah, you guys. Oh my god, that's not a big enough line. Okay, what we do then? What we do? What we do? Okay, Legio 2, take up command and form a shield wall. Legio, sorry, Cohort 2, take up. Cohort 1, fall back. And cohort, yeah, cohort one going to a line. Cavalry, you're going to have to engage them, I'm afraid. Yeah, here they come. Luckily, look, look how much these trees disrupt them, though. It's amazing. Okay, here comes our infantry. The cavalry on the left flank are running in now. Yeah, there's not really much we can do about it. Just hold the line. That cavalry, man. Maybe I should have formed a square back here. Yeah, maybe you guys form a square and just try and catch the cavalry. It's probably way too late, but yeah, that would have been a good plan of action, actually. There's just so much horse. And annoyingly, most people... What I should always do, I think, from now on is I should... Oh, ouch, that hurt. Keep a shield there. Is I should always... I should always have uh, one of my cohorts not waste peel them. So they have them for anti-cav. Okay, the front line is is under a lot of pressure right now. There's a lot of Romans. Do we hold? There's so much cavalry, though. So much cavalry. Okay, I think I need to push this to one of the flanks. Okay, it seems like... I mean, all of our, our entire flank is, like, under a lot of pressure. I'm going to push you guys to, like, one side. What the hell are you doing there? I'm gonna push my. I'm gonna push my square. This is where it would have actually have been good to have uh, more cohorts. You know. Okay, the enemy cab is coming in. They're gonna get slaughtered here, though. I think we deal with one cab side at a time, and we just have to rely on my superior men. Ooh, that one almost got me. That one almost got me. Let's stay alive. But look how much more cavalry we catch up. As I said, this would have been great to actually have kept a left flank, uh, a, like a cohort free to deal with this. You know. Good job. We 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 mauled their cavalry. Okay, now you guys push and actually help out there. Oh, I went down. No. Okay, reform. I got hit by a rogue arrow. Okay, now you guys, I think, do that and then charge. Yeah, you guys wrap around now. Get stuck in. We want to crush one flank over the other. We've already done a lot of damage to this line. Make sure we pick up a Pelum as well. Okay, push for flank. Push for flank. We're going to wrap around and try and just break them. I chose the wrong flank, though. There's art, that archer fire is going to be insanely damaging. So much enemy cav as well. Someone finish him off. Nice. Broke his horse. Kill him now. Yeah, the Cav. The Empress is not giving up without a fight. She is, she is, she is hammering and reinforcements! The banners! Reinforcements have arrived! Yeah, look at Cohort 3 is completely reinforced now. Okay, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, everybody chill, everybody chill! Okay, Cohort 2 is gonna come back online. Am I going to die? Cohort 2, back online. 100 men. Cohort 2, help that left flank. Cohort 2, go to that left-hand side immediately, okay? I'm wounded as well. I'm wounded. 
I could have also sent them after the archers, but I don't think we need to. Cohort 2 is going to reinforce that left flank. Is our cavalry reinforced? It has, but barely any. Cavalry sit back here. I am literally just commanding the battle now. Okay. Legio, uh, cohort 2. Legi co cohort 2. They're pulling back. They're pulling back. Everyone put pressure on. Put pressure on. Charge, charge, charge. Keep the pressure up. Do not let them go back without taking casualties. Yeah, that was a brutal attack. Let me get on the horse if I can. Just make me a bit more vulnerable. Okay, of course, they're going to be reinforcing as well. Remember that. Do we just push? Do we push? They must have reinforcements coming over there, right? But I feel like we just... We don't let them, you know? I feel like we just keep on putting pressure on them, you know? I feel like we go aggressive. Is this... Wait, do they have... Re okay, they have reinforcements coming in? It's a lot of low-tier soldiers, though, you know? I feel like we just push them. Because we have... We have more infantry than... We have a lot more infantry of them now. It's the archers, though, and the cavalry that they have going for them. Yeah, I think we just close the distance. I need to reform. Where are our lines? Okay, lines are a bit too far. Form up here. Form up here. Yeah, reform. Reform. That's good. But the archers are still a problem. The archers are a massive problem. We're going to reform this line, though. Reform now. We should rip through this infantry like butter. Our three cohorts are going to be fully, fully set up. Okay, good job, good job. Yeah, our three cohorts are fully set up. Now we're going to tell them to push. We're going to tell them to engage. So they'll, they'll stay in formation. But they'll be aggressive. Okay, I don't know what you guys are doing. Charge. Yeah, you guys just charge. Deal with that and then wrap around. You guys are all fine. There's a lot of red there. It's, yeah, it's, it's for flanks. It's for flanks, man. The engage was not the play. They basically just committed there and just got slaughtered. We are now in, in, impacting carnage on the right flank, though. We're doing what we, they just did to us on this flank. Look at it go, man. Look at it go. Enemy cav, though, once again. The Empress's cav. I just don't have enough of it. I just don't have enough of this cavalry. Oh, my God. My men are breaking now. Cowards! I've lost all my cav as well. Oh, man. This is brutal. We need to, we need to clear up this right flank quickly so we can help out elsewhere. Yeah, you guys need to be on... Yeah, just charge. You guys need to rotate a little bit, though. Okay, let's rotate these guys in a little bit, like so. Yeah, reform up a little bit so we don't get outflanked. Okay, we won there. You guys have won. Do we push the archers or do we, we need the infantry? But also, I need to deal with these archers. I think we push the archers, you know? This could be my biggest mistake. This could be my biggest mistake. You guys form up. I mean, you guys push them. Legia Cohort 2 has been completely annihilated. We are being chased by lowly auxiliaries. You guys are fine, but you guys can hold. The enemy cav. Oh, that's brutal, man. The cav are doing a great job. Okay, cohort two. Cohort two has been reinforced. Legio one. <laughs> Legio one has been hammered. Let's reform them up there. They got some archers. Oh, and our cavalry. Yes. Our cavalry, baby. Where is it? Where is it? It's split. It's already split. Where's our cab? Oh, cab's behind them. Our cab spawned behind them. Go. Go, go, go. Charge and charge. Where's this infantry squadron? You guys charge as well. You guys charge. Okay, we're about to completely eradicate their archers. Infantry has hit them and cavalry's about to come flying in. Granted, our infantry fight is not looking good. That look of the cavalry, though. Let's go help out some of the infantry. Yeah, we'll run through them. Put pressure on these archers. Do not let them escape. There's a lot of archers there. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Cavalry, hit them. Hit them, cavalry. No, where are you guys going? Yes, their, their archers are running. Their archers are running. Run them down, boys. Is everybody running? Have we won? Is that it? I think everybody's running. I think we've done it. Put pressure. Do not let them escape. Calm down. As many prisoners as we can physically muster. The enemies flee before me. 
Victory is ours, boys. Oh my god, my horse went down. I went down. Oh, they're running into me as well. The poor... Poor children. Time to commit some war crimes on my fellow Romans. Yeah, finish them off, boys. Look at the boys cheer back there. Panic mode off. There we go. I mean, she put up an amazing fight. We have we have to give the Emperor's credit for that battle. She put up a very good fight in the end. Managing to kill half of my army. Her cavalry was insane as well. Um, a lot of these guys like me. I think we're going to take a bunch of them prisoner. Um, Ira can go because we still want to marry her. Oh, we saved someone as well. Good job. Oh, we saved a bunch of people. Nice. Good job. And this is one of the great things as well is we get to keep all these soldiers as well. So we basically just reinforce our entire force. We'll take all the prisoners because I can recruit a bunch of them already and then we'll sort things out. Okay. Like a billion bits of loot as well. We'll take all the food, of course, for horses. Take like half the armor as well. We're literally, like, so over capacity. Okay, we'll just do that. Oh, man. Please save. Save for the boys. Save for the boys. Oh, man. Let's turn the music down a little bit. We're in chill mode now. We're in chill mode. I really need to, like, create, like, a chill playlist and then, like, a, a hype playlist, you know? Okay, cool. Patavium has been saved. Their armies have been sent. Everybody dropping prisoners off. Good, good, good. Uh, okay. I don't know if we caught the Empress or not. She could still be in the dungeon, you know. Everybody's... I mean, we can take a look if she's in the dungeon and we can take her. I don't want to kill her, though, you know. Like, I'd love once we destroy her faction to get her in her clan. That was a good battle, though. If you guys are enjoying the stream, please do drop a like. It really does help out massively and goes a long way. Um, so thank you guys so much. Also, if you guys want to consider becoming a member of the stream, you get a cool banner next to your name. There's a bunch of cool people right there. Um, you obviously get access to a private room, a Discord, and a ton of other stuff, all for as little as $2 a month. Um, and you can obviously cancel any time. It's a great way of supporting my channel, and I really appreciate it. Okay. Okay, okay. So, let's destroy, let's, let's sell everything that we can. So we need to sort this out first. That was, that was probably one of the best battles we've done, but that was really fun. Okay, they, they literally cannot afford this. Okay. Let's just sell the crap that we have. I'll sell the hogs and the cows. And a little bit of food. We've got a lot of food there, which is nice. Okay, it's like 40k. Good, good, good. Prisoners wise. So we, we also want to obviously build up our army again. A lot of wounded. So I guess what we're going to do... Because these guys... Oh, we've got a lot of upgrades as well. Nice. So let's upgrade everybody we can. Boom, 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 boom. Good job. I know we're, we're massively over our prisoner limit. Is there any way we can kind of keep these guys in our dungeon and then grab them in a second? Yeah. Okay, cool. We can, we can, drop, we can dump off a bunch of soldiers. Good. So let's dump off a bunch of the soldiers that we just, we're just never going to be able to recruit. Basically, like all of these guys, right? God, there's so many here, man. Oh, so the capacity now? God damn it. Okay, let's take these guys back then. Oh, we can't. So dumb. Okay, let's dump, dump. Make sure we keep an eye on capacity this time. Dump, dump. Barbarians we don't care about. Dump, dump, dump. Dump those. Dump those, why not? Dacians can go. And we'll drop like half of these guys in. Yeah, there we go. Just something like that. Okay, then we're going to recruit the rest of them. Boom, 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 boom. And then boom. Literally, we, we just lost 45 morale and it barely touches us. How crazy. 
Okay, then we're gonna heal up. Then we're gonna heal up, right? We got 200 wounded in our army. And as people heal as well, uh, we should be able to keep a lot of our prisoners. Because right now, I think our prisoner limit will be going down. But as people heal, we'll be able to, we'll be able to hold more. Oh, nice. Bonding level just went up as well of our horse. Bicephalus. Oh, no. Almost. Almost. Bicephalus is upgraded. Good job. Yeah, we're down to 90 prisoners now, but we should be meeting our limit soon, right? Yeah, we're basically there now. Good. Okay, cool. That's fine. Are you a faction leader, by the way? Are you a faction leader, good sir? No? Yeah, no? Oh, wait. Did the Empress die? Oh, no. She's still fine. I was like, okay, he was the leader of that clan. Okay, good to know. Uh, for a second, I thought he took over, and I was like, oh, God. Hey, how's it going? What welcome? Sorry, I know that battle was very intense, so I kind of missed a lot. How you guys doing? I think we just need to heal up. We're gonna heal up, and then we're gonna head to take some land. You guys, you guys don't need me there either. Good job, good job. The emperor should take some time to re rebuild from there as well. Oh, we also leveled up as well. Nice, cool. Um, what do we want to upgrade? Is there any good perks in tactics anymore? This organized state isn't bad. Where would it get us? Not far. Would I rather just level up Poam some more? Bonus experience. Hit points for troops and party. That's pretty nice. Obviously, Phalanx as well is great as well. Just melee weapon skill for troops in your party formation. That's actually insane. Yeah, let's do that. That, that's an insane ability because it, it doesn't just rely on pole arms. It relies on everything. Yeah, the cavalry was a bit brutal. The problem is, though, the Roman cavalry is classed as very low tier. So that means it doesn't spawn in. Um, it doesn't spawn in right away because of how I've got the battle set that the elite spawn in first. So because of that... It ends up with like the cavalry, my cavalry coming in right towards the end of the uh, the battle, which is a bit annoying. Okay, let's head up north. I want to take the Al I want to take the Alps passageway first, and then make my way south. Everybody's formed up. I kind of like them roaming around though. I feel like we're not going to need more soldiers for a bit, so I think that's fine. We should also be hitting these towns as well to grab more soldiers wherever we can. I'm already basically at my limit as well, which is nice. Yeah, let's head up and let's sit. There's 400 men there still. But I think we go and siege it. Before before the Empress can reform. How many soldiers does she have left now as well? Yeah, so she was at about 7,000 before that battle. And now she's down to 5. That was definitely a, a good hit. Right, let's set her on to siege again. Ah, oh, they siege Batavium again. Do we, do we go back? I think we have to, right? Batavium has like only 200 defenders now. That's annoying. I guess maybe I should have just moved down to Ancona and, and would have taken that. But I really want to kind of link up our settlements, our territory. Why are the troops in Eagle Rising all low tier? I didn't they are. Let's make sure as well we have as many officers as we need. Oh my god, we have 22 Praetorians now? Oh my god. Lord, that's a lot of Praetorians. Nice. Probably because we're, we're Emperor, right? Oh, dude, have we leveled up to tier 5 yet? No, we're, we're about to hit clan rank 5 as well. It's going to be big. Uh, yeah, let's get to Patavium then. We'll re-engage. This has to be their last army, like last strong army. I mean, I think maybe we do just stick around Ancona and we, we go after Ancona. Yeah, let's do that. Out of interest, uh, oh, someone else has formed an army as well. Good on you. Um, have these guys decided to pounce and attack? Anybody? No. Okay, but the Germans are staying out of it for now. Uh, why not take Stalia? I would love to take Stalia, Black Wolf, 100%. I mean, I want to take this one first, so we just have the Alps. Um, but yeah, Stalia is a goal. It's because, again, you have to go around to hit Stalia. But the problem is, they keep on attacking me. Reinforcements are on the way, though. Let's hit these towns. How are we looking? 
Oh, they are they're attacking the settlement as well. Barely anything, though. This is a this is a remnant of what they once had. Yeah, 700. Is it even worth my time? I think it is, right? But if it like this, is this all you can muster? Let's drop a save first as well. Let's drop a save. In case we crash again. Okay, let's go. Let's crush the Romans. Two pretty important battles outside Batavium. And this, this should be it. They shouldn't be able to muster more. Okay, we have three cohorts still. So let's set up cohort here. Cohort here. Cohort here. Cavalry, guard the back. As always, archers there. I think they have to attack us, right? Because, yeah, they have to attack us because they're attacking the settlement. Good job. So we're just going to envelop them here. They're going to die like the dogs they are. I'll let everybody throw their javelins. We got one. The cat. Okay, cap, my cavalry actually. Yeah, my cavalry. Go and deal with this. Because this flank is kind of set up to deal with their cav. Whereas this flank isn't. So I'll send my cavalry to go and charge that. I told the cab to go charge that, yeah? You guys see this, yeah? I told my cavalry to go charge their left flank. And what does my cavalry do? Oh, you know what, actually? We're going to turn around and charge towards the main front line. Morons. God, the cavalry AI is so bad. Get your asses over there. Okay, peel them throwing from both sides. Okay, good job. Uh, yeah, and now... Yeah, now cavalry charge. Yeah, cavalry charge. Good job. The infantry line is now clashing. I'll deal with this right flank quickly and then we'll wrap around. I mean, realistically, cavalry, just go deal with that, please. Uh, this is such a low tier army as well. Yeah, there is not many good soldiers here. Or whatsoever. Yeah, look at that. Okay, this flank can now wrap around. Try to stay out of the water though. Okay, yeah, you guys are wrapping around. You guys have a little bit more to deal with. Oh, that was a good throw, wasn't it? Nice. Okay, this is much more of a chill battle. We still want to obviously reduce numbers. There's still 700 of them left remaining. Push them as they fall back. Yeah, they're already falling back now, so we can just speed things up. Let's get our cavalry back. Okay, reform the line. Reform the line. Oh, no, they're pushing back again. They're pushing back. Okay. My cavalry is now returning. I would like to just, just reform, though. Reform. Oh, they're putting a lot of pressure on this left flank. Okay. Ouch, that was a good thrust by that spearman. Okay, of course, we need to reevaluate the battle quickly. Okay, this flank. Okay, they, they turned around, so you guys need to come back in. You guys just need to charge and deal with that. Because, yeah, this flank is up against it. You guys form a square. Honestly, are we going to lose a lot of men as we form that square? I think we'll be fine. But close in. Because, yeah, you guys are basically taking the entire brunt. Yeah, all 300 of their soldiers. And until you guys reform. No, yeah, you guys are forming a square. And then you guys are moving in there. Uh, and our cavalry, once again, push push up now their cavalry. Go after their archers again. Yeah, you guys... Oh, I died as well, lol. Reinforcements are on the way. Let's go. Let's keep on pushing. Cavalry's almost there. Ouch. <laughs> okay, yeah, you guys go there. You guys are now forming up. Good, good, good. That square, we did end up losing some men there in that square, but they're holding, right? Cavalry now charge that. You guys should just tear that apart, but I feel like archers, like charging charging archers of cavalry just never ends well for the cavalry. 
Oh god, am I down? I'm getting knocked over again. Okay, yeah, you guys charge now. You guys charge. You guys charge. I need to try and find myself a spear. What's my goal after after taking Italy? Uh, probably take Carthage. I want a good goddamn war of Carthage, you know? I feel like I've been promising it constantly. Yeah, we'll fight Carthage this episode. We'll fight Carthage this episode. And then all of a sudden, um, you know, the Germans declare war on us again. And then again. And then again. <laughs> you know? So I feel like I want to fulfill that promise. Let's get on the front lines now. We should be crushing them, I hope. But yeah, just like, look at that. Like, my cavalry. My cavalry is being decimated. I'm mean, just barely killing any archers. It really is really annoying, right? Like, if you get a good charge off an archers, you should just incinerate them. And I feel like you just don't. Sorry, has that man become a horse? No, he's just still in there. Okay, let's see what the left flank's looking like. So are we win yeah, we are winning this left flank. For a second, I wasn't too sure how well we were doing. But yeah, we are we are we are in, we, we are carving in the flanks. Are there elephants? No, there's not. Someone was working on elephants like a long time ago, but I guess they stopped, right? Because you do you guys remember? Someone was actually really working on elephants. And had tons of animations. And I I feel like I heard a, a lot about it. And then all of a sudden I didn't hear a lot about it. Okay, let's push up here now. Take him down. Keep our shield on. Keep our shield on us. Try and drive him into our friendly units. Take out the lot. There's a lot of wounded Romans on this flank. Got damn Germanic mercenaries as well. You're friendly, sorry. I just stabbed you. Keep on putting that pressure up, boys. Javelins, we need that right flank to close up soon. They're running out of Membo. Yeah, they just don't have they don't have the manpower anymore. Sorry, what? Oh my god, we have 230 men just sitting back there. Cohort 4 has just expanded. For whatever reason. Okay. I mean, honestly, maybe we do go up to four cohorts. I like having three, but... Yeah, sorry, guys. Sorry you guys are fighting for your goddamn lives. There's just 250 men back there choosing not to come in. <laughs> Yo, Swedish. How's it going, my man? How you doing this Friday? Oh, out of interest, how many of you guys are off uh, on like a bank holiday? Like in the UK, we have bank holidays where uh, you basically like nobody works for Easter, obviously. Are, are you guys off work for Easter at all? Out of interest, how many of you guys are? Let's go, let's go. Yeah, we've been having a really good stream today, Swedish. We, we just started the brand. We just started the Civil War. We had an, we had probably one of the best battles I've ever fought on Battle Lord. It was really, really fun against the Empress herself. It was like the penult. It was like the main battle of the war. There we go. Good job. Look at them boys just hanging out. Public holiday yesterday and Monday. No, yeah. So we get Friday and Monday off. Uh, well, I don't. I I'm still working all them days, but <laughs> yeah, a lot of uh, I imagine lots of people are. Maybe we'll do like a bonus stream on Monday. Maybe we'll do like a triple stream Monday. Okay, that was a good battle. We didn't. We still like they're still taking their pound of flesh, right? They are still killing a lot of soldiers from us every single battle. You know, we we lost 300 men that battle. Okay, you are actually a faction leader. I, I feel like you're a faction leader, no? Of that? No, it's that guy again. Uh, yeah, we'll take these guys prisoner. Are you a faction leader? You are. Okay, so we'll take you prisoner and convince you to join us, hopefully. 
Reinforcements. Good, good, good. We'll take as many as possible. We're already over our prison limit as well, annoyingly. We'll take a lot, though. Upgrade as many as we can. We'll take as many reinforcements as we can. Uh, I mean, 27,000 experience is not bad. Does anybody need, like, better armor? That is better armor. Can we also, like, give you guys, like, better... Yeah, we should probably start, like, outfitting these guys with, like, proper civilian equipment as well. I feel like we'll let you keep that, ar that armor, though. You know? That looks very That's me. You look cool. Oh, is it only these guys? Okay. Stream in a bunny suit. <laughs> Barista. <laughs> That'd be funny. Okay, cool. So. So, so, so. So, I think... I doubt... Here's the thing. I doubt they're going to be able to muster more men, right? But Batavium doesn't have the biggest garrison anymore. I mean, it's safe. It's four. I mean, oh, because we've got parties in there. I think we go to Stalia. I think I think Stalia is close enough. Um, I should probably buy as many mercenaries and stuff as I can as well, right? Let's go recruit any mercenaries we can. Um, oh, yeah. Also, let's talk to our prisoner as well whilst we're here. 35 upgrades as well. Nice. Good job, boys. Let's do that. Nowhere over our prisoner limit is fine. We'll lose the low tiers. And then it's this guy, yeah. Uh, no, it's this guy. My friend. See the right way. Look at him. He's like, what up? Um, I have an offer for you. Join us and be set free. What are you saying exactly? Look at that. 100%. 100%. Boom. Hey, welcome back, Hudson. Boom, boom, boom. 100%. But it's because we have almost 300 charm. And that's how you goddamn do it. Oh, we can't afford him, though. So, so I wish I could, like, grant him a... I wish I could, like... This is the, the dumbest thing about this. But the percentage chances are, is a dumb way. But also, like, why can't I give him a castle? Why can't I give him a castle to join me? It's, like, so... Oh, so stupid. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I forgot I had no money, right? I forgot I had no money to do that, and you need a lot. Uh, I mean, Batavium barely has anything, anyway. Four hundred k to recruit someone? No. Sorry, did you see how much that bar went up? I know the last trade skill does it, but it shouldn't be the case, right? Like, I should... Like, that's so... That's such a stupid thing to gatekeep. That should just be part of the diplomacy in the game. Okay, we're over. There was no way that was... Did you see how little the bar was? The bar was, like, a minuscule. Literally the smallest... Smallest thing you... Like, I need, like, millions to recruit him, for sure. Okay, let's move over to Stalia. I want to conquer Stalia. And they, they can't be mustering another army for a little while. Okay. I'm hoping we're going to get in here before... Yeah, nice, we did. Okay, so 600 defenders is still pretty crazy, right? That's still a lot of men. Granted, we can grab a couple more parties... Okay, let's set on to siege, because I think we're going to probably uh, try and make a... Yeah, it's building very quickly as well. Yeah, let's set on to siege. I think we're going to probably have to try and make a breach. Granted, we have 83 wounded. Oh, look at that. Uh, what the, the Spanish Romans just abdicated their leader. Can I see who their leader is now? Not really. Okay, let's get these trebuchets up. And just keep an eye out for them besieging me. To be fair, though, I wouldn't mind trading 
I wouldn't, I wouldn't say no to trading. Um, let's upgrade you there. No. no, 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 sorry. That was stupid of me. Let's go boom and continue to upgrade your stewardship so we can have more men. And then definitely on the move. Yeah. So like, I wouldn't mind trading Batavium for this one. It's whether or not we could do this and still not lose Batavium. But I'm, I'm never too sure on, on that. Uh, boosted leadership. Cool. Um, you know, that's that's a problem. Is that the AI does love to attack. Ideally, we'd love the AI army to come after me. Oh, God. Let's put that in reserve. So we 100% want to clear out. Yeah, we have 900 men now. We probably realistically don't even need... Uh, to make a breach. Because, yeah, they're already sieging Batavium. So, yeah. Let's just do that. Let's go free trebuchets. And then we'll build uh, ladder. Sorry, siege tower, siege tower. And we have to go. It's so crazy, right? How quickly the AI can do this, you know? That the AI can muster these armies. And that's, like, one of the biggest problems of late game Bannerlord. It's just, like, how little... Like, how quickly the AI can, can repair its armies. It basically feels like you're never... You're never on top. Okay, we could go now, right? They, they only have one ballista. Yeah, we have to go. Like, that, that's like one of the most depressing things, right? It's just how quickly the AI can muster their forces. Cool, let's do this. Let's uh, let's drop a save and let's let's do this. So we want to smash this battle. We do want to try and minimize casualties, but this is just militia here. It shouldn't be difficult. We smash this, we rush to Batavium, and then we take them on. Okay, cool. I love this settlement as well. It's one of my favorite settlements to fight over for sure. They just have ballistas, so it shouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Everybody hold fire as well, besides our, our six missiles. Leverage. Yeah, look at that. Look at that artillery. Nice. Good job. Get these battering rams up. Country where I, I was born in England. Born in England. You're heading out now? All right, see you later, Lee. Thanks for hanging out, dude. I appreciate it. Yeah, the stream has been really good today. I really do appreciate everybody who's been hanging out. Before you guys leave, make sure you drop a like and a comment. Uh, it really does mean a lot. And I very much do appreciate it. Well, yeah, I guess you can't comment. I'm just used to saying that. Drop a like on the stream before you guys do head out, though. Uh, but don't worry. There's still plenty of battles left to be had today. Don't you worry. We have, like, no one going up this siege tower. And this siege tower is the better siege tower. I'm going to take these 100 men and go up this one, I think. Forward. I should take Rome next? Yeah. I, well, we, we want to, right? It's just the Empress keeps on raising more men. Yeah, go, 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 boys. Can we get up there? Someone, someone open it. Someone open it, quickly. Uh, form shield wall, quickly. Oh, they're going to get up there and stop me. God damn, it's annoying. The Cephalus, move. Go, 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 boys. Let the artillery move up. Let's go up, boys. Charge them. Cool. Oh, there's some good javelin positions here as well. The other siege tower up. We're, we're smashing the gate now as well. Absolute elite throw right there. Look at that go, man. But yeah, Rome is definitely... Our, our Rome is 100%. We want to try and take that. Before the war is over, for sure. Throw your javelins over as well, if you guys can. Many of them will hit the wall, but... Any of them won't. You guys made progress at the gate yet? 
Guys, what are you doing? Charge. Are you guys going to come over here? No, charge the gate. Charge the gate. All right, whatever. We'll, we'll just brute force our way through here. It's fine. Oh, my God. Look at the AI go. Look at the AI go, man. Actually, what we're going to do... I'll split these guys up. F5. Boom. I get like 100 of them in, in Cohort 3. You guys come back. You guys come back and destroy the gate, okay? So let's bring them back. Nice. Lovely. You love to see it, right? The good old... Good old Battle Lord AI. Boys, over here. Let's go. Let's go. God. The AI in Sieges is just so bad. Let me... Like, I, the soldiers aren't even listening to me. Look how... Look how pathetic this is. That I've literally given them an order and they're not coming. What is the point of having a game where you can command troops when they literally don't even listen to you? Look at this. Is it because that's on? No, it's not. Oh, my God. It's just such a joke, isn't it, right? Like, man, what a shit game. <laughs> uh, a fun thing, though. Oh, my God. You guys, can't, and you guys can't even get up the ladder to fight. You, you guys listen to me? You guys listen to me. Nice. When you guys get over here, you guys just AI command yourselves. Why not? Uh, yeah, so uh, the tomorrow, no, Sunday is going to be the fourth year since Banner Lord released in early access. How crazy is that? You guys listening to me yet? No, you're not. No, you're not. Just charge them. Let's get over here, boys. You will be my cohort of glory. Let's go. Let me dismount. Let's go. Oh, nice. They're charging through here. Good job. Oh, God. That almost killed me. Let's fall back a little bit. Oh my god, I told him to char I told him to attack the gate and they're going over there. Good old Bannerlord, eh? Look how many men we're losing here to this just bullshittery. Yeah, it's been four years years on Sunday since Bannerlord released. Oh my god, it's brutal, man. I mean, it's just militia. We should be able to rip through this. Which we are doing, to be fair. Let's go. Let's clear the walls out. In, in my heart of hearts, I know they're not going to, but I really just wish that they would they would just, like, surprise everybody on the four-year anniversary and drop a DLC, you know? Like, how cool would that be? If we're not, like, uh, like announce a DLC. As I said, they're not going to, but there's, like, a 1% chance of me. It's like, oh, they might, though. You never know. They might drop a DLC. Not, like, announce a DLC is what I mean, sorry. Keep on getting these archers as they try and make their way up here. Easy pickings. We are losing a lot of men in this battle as well. Not actually that many, to be fair. Yeah, literally a 0.1% chance of me. I'm like, oh, maybe. <laughs> you never know. Maybe that's why they've been so quiet. I remember the realistic part of me are like, no, it's not going to be happening. You guys getting through yet? You're still just getting slaughtered in there. All because of just how poor the AI is. I mean, I guess the good thing is they will be running out of soldiers soon enough. I think we need to go help out here though, you know? Guys, everybody just... Sorry, I'm going to pause it quickly. Just come through the fucking gate. Yeah. 
Leave me alone, please. Anybody listening to me? Okay, well, I think one part of the army is listening to me. Oh, hello. Let's be careful we don't die. Okay, are you guys over here yet? Okay, now just charge. Are you, gonna, are you guys actually going to just... Yeah, there you go. They're charging through the gate now. Good. Oh, this battle has been stressful for no reason. Oh, I let him hit me there. God damn it. Ouch. I'm wounded now. God damn it. Okay, we've broken through there, I think. Let's go, let's go. Because my army is stuck? Yeah, literally. So dumb. We've just, we've literally just lost like half the army. For no reason. Because they can't figure out how to listen to my goddamn commands. But you know, it's Bannerlord. I wouldn't have it any other way. To be fair, they're just letting me kill them, so it's no different, right? I think we're now finally... Yeah, we're finally through the gate. There you go. There we go. The boys will clear things up now. Coming from the back. Good rear charge. Uh, Jackie Fish, do you ban Lord online and make a clan? Uh, no. I don't think so. I mean, first things first, clans take an immense amount of time. I have a huge respect for people who lead them. Like people who le like lead like BRE and K KOH and stuff. That is like extremely time consuming and they're huge clans. Good job. That was a mess of a battle, but I'm glad you guys managed it. Um, but also, Battle Online just it just hasn't really made much progress, honestly. Like every update seems like just minor, minor things and... People want to be able to conquer castles. Like once they take, a, once they get to a point where people are conquering castles, then yeah, I'll definitely come back and have some fun. But until then, I don't want to get messed up by some Russian clan leader who has the best troops in the game and an infinite supply. They also gonna need a wipe as well. Um, I wonder what I know of a developer has looked into the success of Man and Blade games and have tried to recreate it. Yeah, it's mainly just like indie game titles. I mean, I guess it's it's not an easy thing to do, right? Like, you think how much like how crappy Bannerlord actually is. Um, so it's obviously not easy to do. Like, Bannerlord has so many issues, and it's clearly not easy to do. Otherwise, as you say, other people would do it. I think the AI is like a huge problem. And it's obviously just a, and it's also just a very niche genre as well, right? It's not like this is like a Civ Five Forex game. This is a niche game inside of a niche genre. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna see. I mean, I heard I heard rumors ages ago that Creative Assembly were planning to try and attempt like a game like Bannerlord, like different but like it. But I doubt that's the case now that they've now that they've had so many like layoffs and they've cancelled so many projects. So. That would have been cool, though, to see their very attempt on it. Because, obviously, they have a lot of the assets already, right? Imagine imagine if they... If, if, yeah, imagine if Creative Assembly... Um, we'll take everything as well, because we need to sell it. Imagine if Creative Assembly, instead of spending 100 million or whatever... 100 billion, whatever they spent on hyenas, attempted to make a, an ancient Rome Mountain Blade game. Think how crazy cool that would have been. Do we want to capture this for ourselves? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Uh, we can sell all of this crap, though. Yeah, 67k we just made. Nice. Uh, do we need food anymore? I don't think we do, honestly. Uh, you can have that banner. If you already got that, you got range damage for some reason. Have the wrath. We all did with glory. Oh, it wasn't very... Yeah, there's a solo dev 
kind of Battle Lord style game. Yeah, there's a few of there's a few projects out there. Again, we'll have to see if they come out and actually um fulfill, you know. If I could go anywhere in the world, where would I go? I don't really know. Uh Japan probably. I'd love to go to Japan. I am a weeb at heart. Okay, cool. So Stalia has been conquered. And we we could honestly end the war now if we wanted to, you know? I don't really want to, though. You know? I want to push. I want to take Rome. So let's go over. Yeah, we're going to decline this. In the light of recent events, it is clear that your rebellion against the Imperium is a success. Even Rhaegar admits it. So we could peace out now. What do you guys think? I think we continue until we take Rome. I think we move to Rome next. I mean, I'm probably going to need to rebuild my army a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I think... I think we lift the siege of Batavium and we march on Rome. And then once we take Rome, then we can kind of rebuild, replenish our forces. I know once we peace out, we're a faction, but, you know, we, could, we, we kind of want Rome, right? Let's decline, I think. Oh, yeah, as well. As you say, as well. As soon as we peace out. Well, there's a decent army there as well. Wow. Okay. Who, do, who wants this? Um, yeah, Oris can have it. Sure. I mean, which one of you guys needs a settlement? Uh, do you have... How many castles do you... Do you have a single castle yet? Okay, you, you guys have one castle. And Aurus, how many castles do your clan have? Yeah, you have two. So we're going to give it to this guy. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, how's it going, Alex? Welcome. Okay, cool. Let's let's head our way over to Patavium. Then we'll recruit along the way, of course. Every man, woman, and child who can lift a sword will be coming with me. The good thing is as well is like we have infinite influence as well. So we can also pass a ton of good laws as well as soon as the war's over. And there can't be a... Yeah, there's a tiny... We don't even have to fight this battle, right? Yeah, we can just order resolve this one. We lose like a hundred men. Ooh, ooh. Oh, we, the problem is we're not going to be able to get any of them, right? So it doesn't matter. Uh, let's recruit up. And recruit up. Uh, I'll take the experience. Why not? I can't be bothered to min max it. It's fine. Drop prisoners off. Give garrisons. Okay. I mean, these armies are battered, right? A lot of prisoners. Wounded. But let's march to Rome now. I can probably sally some more men. There's a few. There's not many. There's a few. I imagine Rome will have a very scary defense. Yeah, okay. There's a thousand men at Rome. How many? I mean, we'll sally out if we attack. Okay. We need to rethink then. I mean, maybe we don't. Maybe we just take Ancona. Ancona and then push back to uh, to come on, come on. Like I feel, yeah, Rome has Rome has a big enough army, and this war is is definitely dragging on. I wouldn't mel I wouldn't mind honestly taking Ancona, and then calling it a day, reforming our armies. I and mean, then of course we're coming back for Rome, you know. What do you guys think of that? As my Senate, as loyal men of the Senate, what do you guys think? Because, like, we could starve out Rome, reduce their numbers, make breaches. But I also feel like... I feel like then the AI just, like, sieges us elsewhere. Our armies are battered right now. Yeah, she's she's offering again. Cause like how how long until they siege me once more, you know? That's the main problem, is like they are just gonna simply keep on sieging me. It's 
Let's do that. One more, and then we can start clearing the catapults. Yeah, come help me out of the siege. No, you're not. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's start smashing down. Start smashing down the artillery. We'll also just make a battering ram because I feel like ladders are a little bit easier to use, honestly. Okay, they're sieging me down in the south now, which is fine. I don't care if we really lose the south. Ancona is going to be a valuable asset. Uh, no, again, we'll decline that once more. We'll make one breach and then we'll go, I think. Yeah, one breach. Cool. Destroy that last artillery piece and let's do this. I think I might have to put it up to a poll. Do we prolong the war? Uh, cool. So let's save up again whilst we can. There's no way we're going to be able to take Rome with the men we have. Like, we can, we can prolong the war and I can keep on going on a mass recruitment drive. But even then, I think Rome's just too much of a nut to crack right now, you know? This war has been brutal. Sorry, I know I keep on using brutal, but I've got the... I've got the too many TikToks of the, the Doom bit, the Doom 1. Where he's like, oh, God, it, the, the oh, God, it's a brutal... Okay, everybody in late, everyone in cohort one, like literally everybody, join me in cohort one. We are gonna just charge through that breach, no messing about. All four hundred men. <laughs> Let's go, charge, boys. Let the artillery clear the way. Looks awesome, man. It's, it'd be so cool if you could actually siege up there, you know? I, I always say this, but how amazing would it be if you could actually siege that inner layer? Like, after you take this initial walls, you then fight another battle for the inner, the, like, the inner layer. Like, just like this, but for the inside of the city. It'd be so cool, man. Here we go, boys. Flood the city gates. Flood them. Fine, where the hell have we gone? Oh, we have ladders as well. I forgot we had ladders. Let's uh, let's quickly get up a ladder then. Uh, Swedish, are you still here, by the way? Or have you have you popped off? You are you still here? Nice, we got we got our way up. Oh my god, the artillery, man! Cut a few of these archers. Oh god, did not kill him. Bash him off. Bash him off. <laughs> Did he he survive? Oh my god, for a second I thought he survived. That would have been crazy. Yeah, the boys are already through there. Nice. Yeah. And Co and Kona had a tiny defense. We ain't gonna lose anybody really fighting for this one, I don't think. Nice, good job. Yeah, we're already we're already smashing the gate. Let's take out these guys. Don't worry, boys. I got you. Let's go. Let's go to the gate. Hey, welcome back, Harry. Welcome back. Let's keep on pushing, boys. Nice. Like, there's so much cool scenery back here. Which you just don't use. Like, imagine fighting back for, like, this bridge. And it's just a back and forth. And you have to fight up these ladders. Like, oh, my God. It'd be so cool. Like, imagine this battle now ends. We now go back, but wounded and maybe some men left in reserve, then fight for this. Like, you get to decide how many men you keep back. And then you end up fighting for, like, these streets here. Imagine just having, like, a shield wall on top of these stairs and here. Archers firing over. Oh. That's what a battle lord game should be about. Okay. We will take, we will upgrade everybody and we'll take all the reserves. Every single man, woman and child who wants to fight alongside me will come. We'll organize our armies afterwards. Um, I guess we want the loot so I can sell it. We need money as well to convince other people to join us. 
Okay, uh, do I want Ancona? No, I don't think I do. I don't think I need to. Though, to be fair, every settlement we do take does increase our party size. But I think as soon as we pass the right laws, we're not going to have to worry about party size. Okay, so we, we do actually have a foothold down here in, in Syracuse, which is nice. We've taken Ancona. Um, let's march on Rome. I know we don't have a lot of soldiers. I may have a lot inside. Okay, first things first. Let's head north, actually. Let's grab everybody. Let's grab literally everybody. Every man, woman, and child. Let's go. Our armies are haggard. This could be the downfall of us right now. Our armies brutally manhandled. Barely anything left of us. I think we march on Rome still. What say ye? What say ye? For Rome is within our grasp. And can I really... Can I really call myself an emperor? If I do not hold... The, oh god, I'm coming, Horus. There's an army here as well. Oh, there's an army here. Okay, let's catch this. And we can't really afford to catch this, but... No oh, it's the empress! We caught her! We caught her on the road! My friend, I have no joy in fighting you, but I will if I must. I think uh, I think this is the plan. I think I think we smash our army here and then we march on Rome. For can I call myself an emperor? God, look how upset she is at me. I cannot call myself an emperor. Unless we hold the jewel of the empire. Yeah, guys, I'd really appreciate it if you guys have any time over the weekend. If you could go check out my, my, my video I uploaded yesterday of the BRE event. Then videos don't do so well. But I feel like if people just gave them a chance, I would love them. Because they're, they're such cool battles. And I feel like if people just, yeah, gave them a bit of a chance... They would, they would just, yeah, absolutely, like, vibe with them hard. Uh, let's just like that, basically. And then cavalry behind, yeah. You watched the... Didn't get to watch it today? Are uh, you still yet to watch it? Yeah, no, I'd really, really appreciate it if you guys had time. Just, just check it out, you know. You guys don't have to, like... You know, just see if you like it. You don't have to watch it, obviously, if you don't like it. But yeah, I think I think like them videos would do really well in general if like they could kind of uh, get some traction behind them, you know. So I'd really appreciate if you guys could drop a like on them as well. Okay, the Empress is gonna fall back. She mainly has like infantry and archers. We actually have the the cavalry advantage for once in our lifetime. Do we? Yeah, we, we just about have the cavalry advantage. Yeah, like, I, I just feel like we can't call ourselves the Emperor unless we hold Rome, you know? Okay, this is going to be a bit of a dangerous battle, realistically. Because they just have a lot of infantry. And they're going to hit our center hard. Scabs like here. Yeah, they're going to hit, like, our center really hard. All right, let's go. That cavalry is going to charge me. I'm hoping she has a lot of raw recruits. But to be, fun to be honest, I probably also... I'm going to also probably receive a lot of... Uh, like, I probably also have a lot of raw recruits at this point. Let's get a little bit closer. You guys can kind of turn in a little bit now. You guys push up. Cavalry's pushed off to the flank. Let's go. Javelins are mainly going after the archers, is what we don't want to have happen. Oh, I almost just killed her. I almost just slew the Empress there. I charged at her. I feel like Leonidas right there. Uh, boys, charge the archers, please. Charge the archers. 
Do you guys push? Are they just going to let me like, completely outflank them? I mean, yes, please. They're charging the archers. Good job. They just charged my front line of infantry, which is whatever. So, cavalry. Okay, I mean, yeah. I mean, you guys charge? You guys charge? They've kind of split their formation, but we're, we're smashing in. And we're just running down their archers. Yeah, we've split their line once again, which is exactly how we, how we want to have this happen, right? We want to break them. But we're also just trying to, like, ruin their morale as well. Which is why this flanking force... And we've pushed them into the red line as well. Which is good. I mean, they, got, they just got some reinforcements. But yeah, this, this, this line of infantry is going to rip them apart. Push, men! Push! Okay, let's go, let's go. Still need to kill the archers. That infantry line did hold me up. Like, oh god, I'm scared. But let me out of it. Let me out. Let me out. Let's go. Our reinforcements are going to be delayed, I think. Let's go. I'm going to dismount here. Yeah, you guys are still pushing. There's not many of you left, but you're going to be on the archers soon. Yeah, and we're wrapping around there and there. Good job. Yeah, if you guys are looking looking to play in the BRE events as well, I am going to be there this week as well. So if you guys want to want to join up in the BRE events, um, you know, try join. Uh, you can you can obviously sign up using the link uh, that I have linked in the, in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll be there this week. So if you're looking to be possibly be in one of my videos, then uh, yeah, make sure you join up for uh, for Sunday's event. Just have to obviously join, join the BR. Uh, sorry, join the KOH server. Uh, sign up with them, and then you'll be eligible to play in the event. I believe anyway. I don't think they have any like requirements. They might. I might be wrong though. They might be like, oh, you have to actually have to be a part of a clan for a week or two before you can. I actually don't know. Uh, you just have to sign up to their Discord and, and request to join. And as I said, they're, they're really chill as well. They kind of accept everybody uh, of all skill levels. So it's a great place to be, a great community. And, you know, they're a big clan as well. So they have, like, a, the more people we get in, in the events, the more, like, cool tactics we can do. Okay, they're pushing. Oh, nice. We did the archers as well. Yeah, we completely cut off the archers. Where did that... What, yeah, and then the lion came crushing in here at the back. Good job. All right, you guys are done with that. Now I'll close these guys off. Yeah, you guys are already clearing this off. Good job. Nice. Yeah, and then we completely came around here to finish off their retreat. Nice. We slaughtered that battle. We lost, what, how many? 50 men? Yeah, killed 300. Nice. Do you think I'll live stream the battle? Uh, I was thinking about doing it maybe on Twitch. Like I might I might stream the battle on Twitch. Uh it'll be a mix laser from now on. It'll be like a mix of streaming and uh videos. So the next the next video will probably be Sunday and it'll be a video uh carrying on. We caught her, boys. We caught the Empress. Nice. She's not happy about that either. Take that. Bit of prisoners, please. Nice. Well, she's going to sit in the dungeon. Or she's going to sit in the Stalian dungeon and watch Rome fall. I'll tell you that for free. I will tell you that for free. Oh, God. I'm listening to myself on YouTube on my phone. Give me a second. Just need to reply to a message.
All right, cool. Nice. And we'll, we'll take you out as well. The, 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 the two people standing firm. Yeah, I think we still have plenty to go for Rome still. We, we need to go stick the Empress in a dungeon though, for sure. So she doesn't escape our party. But yeah, I think, I think we head to Rome now. We have 800 men. It's not like loads, but it's enough. Uh, okay, let's buy every mercenary we can. Uh, let's drop her in the dungeon. Yeah, our war, our war exhaustion only fires, though, right? When we hit 100, yeah? I don't have to force peace until I hit 100, yeah? Correct? You cannot take trip. I'm not trying to... Oh, whatever. Okay, so she's in the dungeons of Stalia now. Good. Let's head down south. They're obviously sieging us in Sicily. That's fine. Yeah, it's forced at 100. Well, I'll just make sure. Like, it, We'll just keep an eye on it, you know? Make sure we hit all these towns. Uh, cool. Okay. Let's go to Rome. We have 900 men. They have 1,400 there. We're going to keep on declining. We're going to try. We might not be able to. To be honest, it'd be great if they sallied out. Oh, if they sallied out, could we take them? They only have six days worth of food. And they lose a lot of men. Oh, we can't see our war exhaustion now. That's so dumb. And get any more men? No, this is this is everything. That's annoying. We can't see our war exhaustion. I mean, we'll try. I ba I basically have to like rip the siege when this end when this fires. You know. I'm surprised we're not sallying out. But to be fair, 700 men. I'm out of food as well. God damn it. I mean, they only have three days worth of food. I mean, I think the armies, do the actual troop, like the Lord armies start starving or not? I don't know if that's actually the case. Okay, sorry. Artillery back up and running. Let's get ourselves a battering ram. Okay, start clearing that. They have one day worth of food left. Uh, we'll decline this once more. They build artillery so quickly, though. My God. Okay, it should be starving now. Uh, oh god, my army almost broke apart as well. Oops. I'm literally just going to let all of this stuff break as well. And then just I'll have to rebuild it. Yeah, that's insane. We go again. Uh, I don't know how strong the walls are though. Like I don't know if we got any good shots off on the walls. I don't think we feel like we didn't. But, okay, that has been lost now. God, imagine if... I'm going to drop a save now just in case it force pieces me out. And we can just reload this and, and piece out ourselves. Because I, I can't see it, right? I can't see it, so I have no idea. So I feel like it's fine to save scum it in case it does piece me out. Let's put these in reserve again. Okay, is this like the least amount of men we're going to get out of them? I'd love to make a breach. A breach would make this possible. Oh, we have to. Do we just go for it then? Do I load that save and we just go for Rome? I kind of feel like we do. I feel like we load that save and we have to peace out now. We have to accept this. So I think we load the save and we just go. It's 800... Wait, what? <laughs> I mean, just... Okay, I feel like that was a cheat, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna load the save because I feel like I just like cheated out the, the mods and I shouldn't be able to do that. Yeah, I know I have no food, but my army has food, so the, the troop my, my my lords are feeding me.
So we'll load this and then, yeah, we'll, we'll do it. And it's kind of fun, right? It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to uh, have the final cause. Oh, they have artillery, though, man. Okay, we have a little bit more time to starve them out. I'm going to try and kill some of this artillery. Wait till daytime. Yeah, I mean, this artillery is going to tear me apart, though. Is the main problem. Can you destroy one more? God damn it. Destroy one more, please. Oh, God damn it. Sorry. Sorry, I, I got greedy. I got greedy. We'll, we'll reload and we'll just go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll recruit our prisoners. Good advice. Thank you, man. Yeah, so, yeah, so we we will just, yeah, the artillery is going to be so brutal. Oh, it's going to be painful, man. As soon as we get close to the wall, though, it'll be fine. Yeah, as soon as we get close to the wall, it'll be fine. We just need to get close to the wall. So, yeah, that this is what we do. We we just we just try and get them down to three catapults, get the artillery up there. We We drag as many men from our prisoner pool as we can. And yeah, honestly, we might just lose, but we have 100 morale, so it's not like we're going to break anytime soon. Uh, let's grab as many soldiers as physically possible. Uh, that's all eight of them, good. Upgrade everybody. Do we have any level ups? Oh, our one-handed went up as well, nice. Um, experience scares bonus for infantry, it's not bad. Yeah, infantry level up. Oh, our throwing went up as well. Headshots with weapon damage is nice. Yeah, definitely. It's only personal. I don't really care about upgrading troops. That's fine, but whatever. Uh, so that's me. You leveled up your roguery. Uh, raid speed, I guess. Oh, you also have a party skill. Who are you? You're my your leader, right? Yes, yeah, so leadership up on you. Uh, nice. This guy leveled up there. Go boom. His engineering went up as well. Nice. Uh, hit points for artillery for sure. Okay, uh, so yeah, I think what we do is we, we just try and destroy as much uh, of this as possible. Is this going to be a daytime battle? Because right now they only have two artillery pieces, which is perfect. I'm going to drop another save and we're going to go. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. The battle for Rome. Hold on, we need some music. We need some music. We need some goddamn music. Uh, pause that. Open up YouTube. Here we go. Um, what what is it? What what what's the music I want? What's the music I want? It's in my head. Uh, Men! The battle is inevitable. But victory hangs in the balance. Do your duty as true Romans and victory will be within our grasp. A battle's never an easy thing. Oh, that's, that's only one small speech. I want, a, I want an epic speech. The afterlife will have many new souls by nightfall. Make sure that yours isn't among them and all will be well. Battle now awaits us. The girls fool themselves and think they are our equals or better. I think they had the stench of death about them. We stand today knowing that the fate of this city is ours to decide. If we die, this city is gone. So we will live and the city will live. The enemy will break against this place like waves upon a rock, but they will not triumph. When all is done, we will remain. They are keen, eager, and foolish. We need only let them die before our walls. We have a slight advantage in number, but no lives can be thrown away today. We cannot afford such profligacy. Yet, for all that, their men are well-trained and dangerous. Firm resolve should never be ignored. Our brave horsemen must wait to do their work until a breach has been opened in the enemy defenses. I fought these people before, and now I thirst for revenge. 
Today we shall slake our thirst for blood. Today is victory day. The hair has been gutted, and the liver was as clear as day. Portents such as this can only be considered good. Let's there prepare ourselves, boys. The best song as well. For men, what awaits, what awaits us for glory? Okay, we need to silence them artillery pieces immediately. Let's get these ladders up, because that's going to keep on happening until we silence them. We need these ladders up, and we need this. Where is the other assault? Wait, what? Is that over on the left-hand side? It must be. Yeah, it's over here. Get these ladders up, boys. We need to get to the walls quickly. Hello? Boys. 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 Charge. Get your asses up there. Forward, man! This is our day. The day where we become lords of Rome. You guys are pushing me out. Nice. Good job. A Roman scum is down to a militia. A proud few. Let's go. In here we go. In we go. In we go. Make a breach. Keep them shields high. Nice. God, don't fall off. Come on, let's push them back. Just deal with this militia. We're, we're breaking through actually already. For some reason, their army's like reforming, which I'm not going to complain about. Hey, got me surrounded by reinforce me, please. What are you guys doing? Get your asses up here, please. Idiots, man. God, why is the AI so... So dis... Oh, my Lord. How are you guys so stupid? Just get up the ladders. It's not that hard. Okay, some of their... They've, they've sallied forth a little bit. Still with a few of these militiamen. Just get up the ladders. How has it taken four years and Dale World still can't fix the simplest of AI features of soldiers just climbing up the goddamn ladders just climb the ladders my god it's because of this where is happening here I need to get back on the other side I think okay, oh the gate is open oh no it was let's smash down this goddamn Get this to the wall. The gate is open again. They're sallying out, trying to stop us here. We need, we need to break this, though. Yes. Oh, God, they're fully coming out now as well. Uh, we need more men here. For sure. Reinforce, reinforce. Get your asses over here. Oh, my God. Look how... Look, like, it's just... It's just like... Come on. It's just... We're getting massacred here. Get you guys, get over here and charge. Can we get anyone else here? Can we get like, we, we're just gonna go to the gate now, I think. Okay, let's finish these guys off. Bit of lag there as well, I guess reinforcements arrived. Let's deal with these guys. And then, we'll, yeah, we need, we need to get this battering up. We need to smash this gatehouse. I think we're just going to try and force our way through the gate. Can I push this up a bit? Yeah, I can start I can start ramming down the gate. If they open it again, it might stop it. I am single-handedly smashing down this gate by myself. Yeah, we, I mean, we're taking a lot. The thing is, though, we can't also take casualties. Because we have the same amount of men. So the fact that we're losing more men than them is really bad. But I can't really do much because our men are incapable of actually going up the walls. Okay, reinforcements here. Sorry, is this gate breaking or not? It's taking forever. There we go. Okay, I want this gate broken and I want our men through. We're going to just pour everybody through the gate. That's going to be our wing con. Okay, it looks like they're actually going up the gate as well now, which is good. God, this gate, man. Okay, I wonder if we're doing reduced damage because we've got less people here. 
I mean, it is the gates of Rome, I guess. There we go. Okay, cool. Smash that goddamn position down. Put out a sword. Anybody gonna help me? Okay, they're gonna throw rocks on me. Let's run away. Anybody smash this down. Give everybody the command to. Hopefully some soldiers will. Yeah, what the hell is going on here, man? It's just embarrassing, right? But you can release a game in this state after four years. Like, what the actual... Like, oh my god. It's just embarrassing, man. Push our way up here. Let's just try and get as many soldiers actually in here as possible. Nope, nope, nope. They are just, yeah, not having any of it. They'd rather just go up there and die. Fuck this game, man, sometimes. Holy crap. What if I tell them to follow me? It's because they're, it's because they're set to goddamn charge. That's why. Okay, now you guys... No, no, it's not. Okay, they're still just going to do whatever they want. Okay. I'm dead already. It's fine. Let them waste their rocks. Not like I give the order to... This game is so dumb! Do I just like fuck it and go up here? Like, we're going we're gonna to literally lose because the AI is fucking incompetent. I wish I just didn't bring ladders now, you know? We're just gonna- we're just gonna die. We're just gonna get massacred. Like, they, we haven't killed enough. Like, we just have to accept dying every time to our rocks, because, like, the fucking men won't listen. It's so dumb! Thank you! One brave sir, two brave warriors! Sorry, sorry for getting annoyed, but it's just so stupid, right? But this is a this is the state that we're in. Problem is though, now that the gates are open, still nobody's gonna bloody listen to me. Cause they just go on charge again! Like, why are you guys on charge? I've sent you all of you guys to not be on charge. Like, what is the point of having the ability to command soldiers when they don't listen to you and they just glitch out? How is this acceptable to sell a game that does this for 40 pounds? How is this a 40 pound game? Oh my lord. Maybe we switch their groups. Maybe we switch their groups. You guys gonna listen to me now? Nope. 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 They're not. It's just a joke, isn't it? Like, what an absolute joke. I feel like I just want to retreat because there's no point in fighting this battle. Because there's no way we're gonna win. Because this, every soldier is just glitched out. Great, let me just take my, my 10 soldiers who actually want to follow me into battle. Let's go, boys. Great, I'm dead. Who cares? Oh, they're listening now? No, just for militia. Just for militia. Not the guy who's climbing. I don't care that they're climbing the ladders. I want them to go through the gate. I want them to actually listen to their commander. And go through the one position I'm telling them to attack. Oh my god, that is so infuriating. Give me a bloody shield. It's 
Set them to charge? I would love to! But they don't listen to anything I press! They just do whatever the fuck they want to! I've ordered these guys to do stuff about 60 million times and they're just glitching out! Because in sieges, the AI just doesn't listen to you. I mean, we might still win just because of how bad the garrison is, but I doubt it. No, my men are breaking. Cowards. The AI has an awful army. We might... I doubt it. Like, it's probably better just to reload the, like, battle... Yeah, they would have just reinforced. I mean, maybe. No, there's no way. We have to kill like 400 more. If I, imagine if we just fust, frosted our entire army through the gate. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, sorry. We're reloading, and I'm just going to attempt something different, I guess. I'm going to have all my soldiers. It's not a bug, though. They do this all the time. You say, oh, it's a bug, but this is literally how the AI... It happened like four times on stream already. Take the out like a real man. No, fuck off. Am I doing that? I'm just losing my army because this game is shit. Oh, it triggered me so hard, man. That triggered me so hard. Is a bug due to the mod? Mods? Must be? What mods? What mods change behavior? RBM, maybe? I doubt it. I mean, may maybe it's RBM. RBM was the only thing that changes AI behavior. RBM normally fixes them behaviors, though. It doesn't happen in base game. It happened in base game all the time for me. You should go you should go back to some of my uh Okay, let's just attack, right? Yeah, let's just attack. Uh you guys should go back to some of my my Sturgeon playthrough I did not so long ago. Well it was quite a way away, so we go. Um yeah, my Sturgeon playthrough. I got more triggered than I just I just was triggered. Um so I need to basically just keep every single man, woman, and child back. But also, I don't want to die to, like, artillery. No, guys, just stay here. Just stay here. Just stay here. Just stay here. Um, yeah, my Sturgeon playthrough. Oh, my lord. Like, it's a sieges. Sieges are just unplayable. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna have one formation and I'm just gonna have to follow me. I feel like if I don't commit them to the ladders, they can't glitch out. We just need the siege tower to make it. We'll take some casualties, but I'd rather take casualties and just smash through the gate than anything else. Separate them into more groups, why? That's what we did last time and it glitched out, so. No, they were they were all separated. Like we separated them last time and they all glitched out. I know I'm losing, like, a lot of men here, but... Oh, I'm losing so many men here. I guess maybe we do just... Maybe I should have gotten to the walls first. Yeah, I just like a lot of men by doing that. was bad on me. I could have just, yeah, got this close and the artillery wouldn't have been able to hit me. It's stupid of me. The archers will, though, but... Okay, you guys have just broken through. Good. Okay. I mean, it's fine, as long as I can just, like, do this. And as long as the AI listens to me. Just charge there. No. Don't. Why are you going up the ladders? Why? I've told you to do the simplest thing of just, no. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? 
I literally told you guys to attack the gate and you're just charging up the goddamn ladders like absolute idiots. And now you're just not listening to me. Oh, this fucking game. Tell him to charge. Here you go, charge. Sick, man. Love it. Look at you guys go. This game is good. Oh, yeah, let's just peace out, whatever. <laughs> so, a certain formation for the RAM? No, there's not. I mean, I'd love to make maybe some towers to stop them just being as stupid as they are. But then they're going to have four artillery pieces. But maybe that's what we do. It's going to force me to piece out. Like, at least that stops one of them. From being stupid. So yeah, maybe, maybe we've got one siege tower. So maybe that's enough. Can we try and build another one? We're going to get hit by more artillery, but it is what it is. Yeah, okay. I can just do that as well, actually. Fuck it. Let's just do that. Okay, let's go. Let's go with Siege Towers now. Maybe that'll work. Let's leave the assault again. Let's go. I mean, again, the towers also got... I, yeah, I mean, that's all I want to do is... All I want to do is force them into the... the all I want to do is force them into the gate. I just want to go through the gate. I mean, maybe it is RBM. Like, maybe I take back everything I said and RBM's causing this. Which I do, I guess I apologize for my foul language, but it's just so frustrating. Oh my god. Why, why are you guys not moving forward? Um... Sorry, why, why are you guys not moving? Please move. Uh, those two type formations, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just gonna get my soldiers as close to the walls as possible. The, thing, the nice thing is, so what I'm hoping is the siege towers get destroyed and then it just forces everybody forward. Is what I'm hoping. Doesn't look like that is gonna be the case. What are you guys throwing your javelins for? Hold fire, you idiots. Doesn't like the siege towers have got stuck, but maybe I'll stop them from glitching out. Uh, you can find my mod list over on the Discord. Okay, let's send you guys up the ladders. We have another squadron here. We have a squadron back here. Cool. So you guys up the... I mean, I kind of always don't want to go up the ladders, you know? Like... Okay, what we're going to do is... You guys, inside the settlement. Don't attack, just get... Just get in. Just get in. Just get in. You guys? No, see you guys. All right, boys. I'm just gonna get. No, 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 no. Don't, don't charge. Don't charge. I did not give you the order to charge. Okay, I think I understand what's happening now. So what's happening? Are you guys go. No, they, they've, 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 they're lost. So what's happening is when I give the order to attack the gate. Oh, I had it then. I think. Did I have it? Okay, boom. I think I got it. No? Oh, they've already lost. Yeah, they've already said, fuck you, Jackie. 
we're going to go suicide up here. I think what's happening is the AI is, is so when I do this, it's basically having a, a, a target command. So it's like when you tell a unit of your army to attack a certain part of their army. And that's what's happening when I tell them to attack the gate. Use the stop order. It doesn't do anything, I don't think. Is there a stop order? There is a six. Stop order, does that work? No, we just immediately go back to charging. Stop. Yeah, you guys back? You guys back? Yeah, have we... Uh... No, they, they, they've said, fuck you, Jackie. I ain't listening to a word you're saying. Yeah, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, I think that's what's glitching the game out. I think I think they're getting they basically get an order to attack a, a certain group of infantry so they go away from the gate and then they just they just send it. They just they just go. And then that's that, you know? That's that. From that point on, they are no longer my army to command, because in Battle of Sieges, you can't command soldiers. What people aren't saying is that people were saying that in native this never happened to them. So maybe it's an RBM thing. And if that is the case, I apologize for getting frustrated because it's not the dev's fault. But I also feel like this isn't. I feel like I've had this so many issues like this in sieges before. Uh, but I do apologize because it definitely has taken away from the, this wonderful stream. It's not a PC thing, though. It's, it's, it's either RBM or it's just vanilla. Either or. If it if it's if it's RBM, then there's yeah everything I said I take back. But I also feel like this has happened to me in vanilla, not that long ago, as well. But maybe maybe I'm just maybe I'm just misremembering. Because I, I feel I feel like when I did my Sturgeon campaign. I, uh, we're, we're breaking through here at least. I think we're still going to win the day, but we should get in here. Uh, I feel like in my Sturgeon campaign, um, we, we were trying to defend sieges and the AI just refused to, to follow me. They would basically like follow me uh, like for the beginning of a battle and then the AI would just take command of everything and that would be that. And I wouldn't be able to command the battle from then on out. We are, we are up against it here. We need to kill this guy before he kills us. Damn it. A lot of archers here. We're in a good position and we're playing as an Optio as well, so we have some good powerful weapons. They have a couple good soldiers, but if we can break through that, then the day is definitely ours. Let's help out here as much as we can. Every soldier we kill is going to be huge. Sorry. Let's just uh, let let's just let's just reset, okay? Let's just put all the negativity away, all the negativity away. Okay. Everybody, take a big deep breath in, and everybody, take a big deep breath out. Let's not allow this battle for Rome to sully, sully our experience of these epic battles we've had today. And let's continue, for this will also be an epic battle. This will also be a battle to define this campaign right here, right now. Let me get some better music on quickly. No more complaining, but I am done complaining. Some would say that's impossible. Jackie Fish not complaining. That would never happen. Well, I tell ye. You are wrong, because I am. Not going to complain for the rest of the stream. You have my word on that. And let's go. Back to battle! Romans, push! The glory of Rome! Break these defences! Flood the city! The glory for your emperor! Help out here as much as we can. Oh, damn, I died by now. I'm playing as a Praetorian Guard, which is good. Yeah, we just need to break through this. We just need to get a foothold in here. Let's go, let's go. Let's push out. Let's push out. 
Trying, we just need to basically our soldiers to flood through this position, which we're now doing. Good job. Let's go, let's go. Clear these guys out. Let's go, let's flood into the settlement. Keep that shield high. God damn it, that bolt hit me, but let's keep on pushing. We need, we just need to kind of clear a path of the AI. Let's just tell everybody to charge now as well. Yeah, we just need the AI to like clear a path and then push out. They're like coming up the ladder as we are like going down the ladder. Yeah, this is the part of the battle where we need to win. How many kills are we on? We've actually got more kills, which is good. Remember, we have the exact same amount of soldiers. So every, every, every man, every woman, every person that we take down is massive. Every kill that we trade is huge. We haven't got... Oh, we do have a shield. Okay. I am like a fool. On, no! <laughs> Let's keep on pushing. They just basically got like militia left now, you know. Oh, everybody fire a will as well. Get your javelins out. Do some damage. We should help out a bit. We need to get out there and destroy that realistically. Do they have like an artillery piece up here out in chest? Kill some of the archers would be good, I think. Because these archers are probably doing some decent damage. I mean, yeah, look how much damage. They're literally no armor. Let's go help out here. Clear out this, this, this little tower. Let's do that. Let's do that. These are three kills, basically. Nice. Good job. And if they have artillery up here, we can maybe turn it against them. Okay, remember, we have like, like 800 men. Problem is, as well, we need to be very careful that we don't end up losing. Okay, it's just archers up here. But the artillery is over there. Okay, cool. Block that. Take him down. If only we just like if only we just blitz the gate, man, that'd be so juicy. It's not a complaint, by the way. Not a complaint. Cleared out of this tower, let's get towards the artillery now. We just need the boys to keep on pushing. Oh, one more stairs. Down one more layer, I think. Oh, there's more archers here. Good, good, good. All of these soldiers count as men, so keep on pushing. Keep our shield up. He's blocking high, so we'll we'll hit low. He missed. Good. He's going to miss him and we'll take him out. Good job. Good job. There's a lot of archers here as well. I'm seeing like flurries of green. And then... Flurries of red, you know? Seems like we get a big counter punch and then they come in as well. I mean, get up here. But that's a lot of green now. I think we're broken through. Let's go. I think we've broken them. There's, I might go down here. The archers are hurting. Let's want him down. Him down. Good job. Yeah, I think they're falling back massively. Half my army isn't even charging. Charge! Okay, I'm wounded now. Let's go. Let's push. Let's push, boys. Uh, come here. I'm so wounded, but I'll get you. Half the army isn't even attacking, but I think we've, we've broken them now. Yeah, I think we've got enough. Like, I don't know. Yeah. As I said, I overreacted earlier. I apologize. I just get really frustrated at that stuff. It is very annoying when you see it a million times. So I do apologize. And again, it could be RBM as well. You guys brought it up, and I, I, I completely admit that I could be wrong here. And all of my crying is not justified. Hold back for a second. <laughs> but then again, it is most likely also just vanilla, and that just happened, so... But I accept if I'm wrong. I completely accept that. Cool. It's just I really wanted Rome to be such an epic battle. I and mean, as soon as you see that, it does kind of, uh, yeah, make it a bit frustrating. But yeah, <laughs> could have handled that better. I admit when I'm wrong, because I am a glorious emperor. Oh, that's my archers now? And we've done it. Yeah, yeah, it's just oh, so annoying, man. I'm glad we built the siege towers, though. Go finish the battle, boys. Problem is as well, we can't even test if RBM doesn't work. 
Uh, we could test it. How interested are you guys to see? I could turn RBM off quickly. I don't know if it will break, but it probably won't load. How interested are we if it is RBM? Or do we just accept that it is a mystery and we'll never know? Because I could turn it off, it might crash. Yeah, oh, ER completely doesn't work with RBM. I thought it just worked, but it wouldn't like... Would it crash me? I know, I know like the, the armors and everything are balanced. I know everything is balanced around RBM. But yeah, is, will the game actually crash, Martin, if I if I don't have it? Okay, there's only one soldier left now. They'll hunt him down. Hey, I mean, we took Rome. We took Rome. Oh my god, for a second, I thought it was going to crash there. I was about to cry. Uh, I'm just going to control shift F4 to kill the last man because he's clearly glitched out. Rome is ours, boys. Look at that. 128 renowned. Uh, we can we can quickly see okay don't 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 head off uh cool so we're gonna we're gonna release everybody here because we're about to peace out so there's no point 300 prisoners is disgusting our army is in like tatters but i mean we'll take everything i guess show mercy i will be taking rome of course for myself uh, we will be dropping a save, of course. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Woo! Oh my god, he's going to force me out as well. Um, I can't peace out as well, right? I have to have it pop up. Please peace me out. I would like to peace out. Thing is, uh, I can't offer peace like this because I don't have this. Uh, yeah, my next clan tier is 6,000 renowned. What a joke. Uh, is he going to pop up and ask me uh, if I want to peace out? Hopefully it does. It did do it quite quickly, but I I'm wondering because we like kind of like glitched out the game and said no. Like I, I escaped. I wonder if it's going to ask me. Uh, I guess what I could probably do, actually, is send a message to the Empress and peace out through that. Uh, who do I want to talk to? Sorry, the Imperial Romans, right? Yeah, Imperial Rome. Oh, we need, let's go talk to her and see if we can peace her out manually. Uh, I'm going to just let the armies break apart now as we're not taking anything more. But yeah, I wonder if maybe I glitched out this war. It'd be pretty embarrassed. It'd be awkward if we... Uh... Oh, we need to buy some food as well quickly. It'll pop in a few days. I don't know if it will. Hopefully. Let's buy some food. I wonder if we could talk to the Empress. Because you can, I know you can peace out... Oh my god, they all left. Can I talk to you? Because you can normally piece out as well, like, manually this way. But is that going to, like, completely break the game? Uh, so our realm should make peace. I do not have the authority yet, so we have to find the Empress. She's obviously escaped here. Okay, I think it's going to be fine. I think we can piece out that way, but I think I, I broke it by not accepting that piece we had to accept. Maybe it'll pop up, though. I feel, like it sh I feel like it was popping up way more frequently, though. The war continues, yeah. Eternal war. We took Rome for ourselves. We're now making a lot of money. Yeah, we should take a look at Rome. Oh my god, did they take... No, they didn't. They just took down there into Sicily, yeah. There's nothing I can click here as well, right? To force peace. Doesn't look like it. Um, if I do this, is she free now? She was last seen near Stalia. Why can't I send her a message? Oh, she's traveling incognito. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, let's 
let's make a quick save. So let, let's do Rome is mine. Let's drop that save. And then what I want to do is I want to test to see it. Will, so I'll basically turn off RBM, see if the game will load. Um, and then I want to, I really want to test out to see if that is RBM causing the issue. Because if it is, I'm an idiot and I shouldn't have got as, I don't know. Yeah, you literally need RBM to play. So I guess we'll never know. Uh, I guess we'll never know. Yeah, here's what it is then. Here's what it is. Either way. Either way. Doesn't matter. We all move past it. I was just interested more than anything else, I guess, at this point. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could continue the onslaught. I really want to consolidate my forces, though, and obviously become a faction. Because until this war ends, we don't actually become a faction either. So obviously we could continue on and, and just wipe out. I guess if we wipe them out, the war would have to end when they don't have any more lords left. I actually don't know what how how. Yeah, maybe maybe just for like the reload will save it. Well, oh there we go, boom. Okay, cool. So we accept. In light of recent events, it is clear your rebellion against the Imperium of Romana is a success. Even the Empress admits it. It is, is it time to accept the plea for peace, thus achieving your goals? Boom. A new, we're pink. <laughs> a new kingdom emerges. The Imperial Romana has lost the civil war and has failed to keep their kingdom united. The Zakharos Empire has emerged. I will definitely changing that. And we have also gained 500 influence. Boom. Look at that. I mean, a horrible color. We'll change that immediately. But we are now independent. We have Rome. God, that color. Uh, what color do we change to? I feel like kind of blue would be nice. Like a, a bluey. I and mean, we could just be purple. We could be like senator, senate color. And change that to red. Something like that. Yeah, purple would be kind of cool as Caesar ourselves. Purple and red. I think green, green wouldn't be bad. I feel like green, yeah. I, I Like the Brutio were never my favorite. So I feel like we're going to do purple. Is this all? That look good. I feel like that looks really bad. I mean, red is nice. I feel like... Well, let's see what green looks like. I kind of like green, you know. Kind of do like green. But I do, I do agree with you guys. Green does feel very gallic, you know. A few of our people leveled up as well, which is good. Uh, we then also definitely need someone to govern Rome, of course. Red and white? Red and white could be cool, because they're red and gold. Let's see what red and let's see what red and white looks like. Uh so red and white height. Yeah, I mean, I think that looks cool-ish. Oh, does it? I feel like, yeah, it's a bit. I like this red, though. No. Something show up. White and purple. I mean, we could also, like, flip it like this as well. Oh, that's a horrible red. I feel like a darker red. Yeah, I feel like that looks better. Oh, why is that messed up? Why is our banner messed up? Uh, <laughs> doesn't like that color. Yeah, it does not like that color. Okay, but it can't be that red. Well, white and purple. Okay, I think that looks nicer. White white and purple. I like being... We'll see what our army actually looks like, but yeah. Let's, let's rock with that. Okay, so war has been won. We still have that rebellion in the north. I'm sure the boys will go deal with that. Now, let's let... We obviously need a... So who's governing 
That's also a good point as well. Who is governing? Um, I'm going to go clam, right? Yeah, who's governing our other settlement right now? We're powerful. That's powerful parties. Oh, we can have nine parties now as well. What? I guess because we have our own faction. Okay. All right, boys. Meat is back on the menu. How many companions can we have? We can only have two more companions. Okay. Um, yeah, sorry. We also need to look at who's governing what, right? Someone's... You're governing Carolus, so can I have a sculler? Let's bring you over to govern Rome. That is hilarious. We can have that. Uh, manage rebels. Can't have a scholar. I'm not, he's not even here. Oh, because he's probably doing that right, yeah. Okay, we need to find some people to lead armies now. So I guess we'll go to like, yeah. We need to go find some more companions quickly. Um, and then, yeah, then this is like a rebuild period, I guess. Well, we also need to deal with a rebellion, so we'll deal with that. That set up that Gothic Zerman is just, yeah. I mean, how many times are we going to pillage it? Oh, yeah, can we change our name as well? Yeah, that's a lame name. Give me a good name, guys, in chat. Something like Roman. Something that fits our, our, our behavior, our, our faction. Um, I feel like most, like, all the time... The AI, like, your, your companions never spawn in your settlement. So let's head north. I like that, Martin. The Roma Victor Atomernan. Ataturnan. Don't know how what that means, but I like it. <laughs> oh, we are definitely no republic. That is for sure. We are a hundred percent. Okay, cool. So, oh, interesting. So a civil war has broken out over here. So the Julii conspiracy has broken out. That is a huge civil war as well. Wow. A massive civil war in Spain. The Holy Roman Empire. That's kind of funny. Um, oh, 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 as well. Make sure. Oh, I, I, I think I know why as well that happened. I mean, it's cool. But yeah, let, let's set this back down now to 10%. Yeah, let's change this to the Holy Roman Empire. I like that. The Holy Roman Empire. Okay, we need some companions now to fill out. We have plenty more ranks of making armies. Why not the bit of purple potatoes? Cool, I'm just recruiting everybody just to build up my army size as well. I'll probably go to my garrison soon enough uh, and rank up. Uh, cool. So we want to go. We just, yeah, we just need to find two more companions to, to make into armies. Maybe another governor to govern Rome. Yeah, we also need to get married. That's something we need to do. And then yeah, we also uh, like there's it's literally only a matter of time until the Gauls declare war on me. Good, there's loads of companions here. That guy is insane. Hello. Uh, yeah, join me. Okay, well, he can lead an army for sure. Uh, and she can lead an army for sure. Cool. Got both of our, our our commanding dudes. Yeah, boom, have it. Cool. Let's outfit them really quickly. Um, so let's view, view the armory. God, we look so sick in our purple. I like that we, we chose purple. Um, yeah, so let's outfit these guys with the best armor. Uh, not the emperor's armor, of course. Um... Let's give this guy like a gladiator mask. That's kind of cool. Uh, just have that. Uh, though, you should probably be wielding that, to be honest, if you're leading men. Uh, cool. Uh, and then we just need... Uh, yeah, you can need like a banner as well. Legio free. You can be my Legio free, good sir. Uh, and have some pilum as well to throw. And we'll give you a horse. Um, also, horse. Saddle. Boom. That's you done. And then Milady. Uh, again, not the best armor, but you can have some good armor. 
That's nice armor, to be honest. Not that one. That one looks cool. Uh, and we'll give you... Good helmet again. Are there any, like... I feel like there's not many, like, arm pieces or leg pieces. I'm looking for arm. There, there are some good arm, leg armors. What arms? I'm looking for arms. There we go. He needs some arms as well. Do we have some plated legs? Uh, you're a centurion. I'll give you that cape. That cape looks really nice. Love the detail in it. Okay, cool. So you're set up. So is she. Boom, boom. 50k, whatever. We're rich. We can also sell all our stuff as well. Let's sell all this crap that we have as well. It'll be worth a lot of money for sure. Yes, like 70k. We also need to buy some food as well. Our army goes through food so quickly. Let's literally buy it all. Why not? Don't need the wall though. Okay, cool. So now, now, let's set up the last two armies that we need. The last two armies. Boom. Um, so it's the... Yes, yeah, this guy, right? The hero is fatigued and running from their... What? Um, maybe because we haven't left the city, maybe. Let's see. Can we do it now? No. Are you guys not in my army? You should be. You guys not in my army? <laughs> yeah, they're here. I don't know. Maybe it'll sort itself out soon enough. Let's head down south then. We've got them, which is good. Let's head back down to our settlement. So, our next war. So, I'm going to probably take an army. Oh, we need to pass lords as well. Oh, cool. He's already sieging them as well. Well, I think. Is he going to? Maybe. I'm going to probably rape them a little bit. So, actually, let's, 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 let's as well. Let's see how we compare to everybody else. So, our stats. We have 7,000 men. I think our first war will be against, yeah, the Gallic Romans. I want to push there. But we'll probably start another war against the Empress. Let's finish her off. And then a goddamn Punic War. That's going to be our goal, I think. Go to War of Carthage. I think we still need to take the rest of Italy. I think, though, the next time we fight in Italy, that'll be our final war. Like, in Italy. I think we'll, I think the next fight, the next combat we do against the Empress is going to be the final one, if that makes sense. Like, we will just engage her, and then we'll, we'll wipe her out. Okay, cool. Can we make them armies yet? There we go. Cool. So, yeah. Give these guys over soldiers. Come here. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. Where are they? Hello? Where do they go? Are they, like, somewhere else? Where are they? Are they over here? Oh, they're over here for some reason, right? Where's over here? I want to give you guys soldiers. Is that them? That's not them. I'm so confused. I feel like they've really glitched out. You? I have no idea. Oh, well, we'll just go back to where we are. I'm sure they'll sort themselves out. I wanted to give them soldiers. Oh, yeah, we'll turn the music down as well. Sorry. We're getting hyped up for the battle. Battle of Italy. Uh, cool. So let's, let's reform our army and then we'll go deal with the rebels. Let's do that now. Oh, no. One thing I really want to do now um, is I want to pass some laws. We currently have the Senate in, which is nice. One thing I really want to pass is the... Um, we don't need influence, so that's something we just don't need. What is the... Settlement, garrisons, lord parties, castles, and generate construction per pro. That's kind of cool. Have they added in more stuff? That's an insane one as well. That's really cool. You get plus four party size. Kingdom leaders pay 200 gold to each vassal. Pays one influence to their leader. Settlement owners pay 10 gold to each notable. Well, there's some really cool ones in here. The one I want to pass, though, is the one that gives me men.
Royal Guard, right? Yeah, Royal Guard is that. Can we force this through? No, just force it through. So cool. That's an extra 50 men for me. The Royal Guard. The Praetorians have been set up, okay? The Praetorian Guard have been... Have achieved. Military achievements grant more influence. Ah, don't need that. Uh, settlement loyalty is increased. Production is reduced. I think we... Oh, we can't do that. Yeah, we, we do also need to make sure that people are happy. Yeah, Royal Guard is just giving us 60 more men. Same as anything else good. I mean, ideally... Yeah, that's good as well. They lose an influence, but we gain more men. So now we get an extra 40 men. So we just basically have just increased our army size by 100 soldiers. It's pretty, pretty good. Eh, that's whatever, whatever. Town security increased, but taxes reduced. Yeah, I like that. We'll do that as well. That's a good one. So we lose, we, we get a little bit less tax, but security is higher, which means loyalty is higher. Uh, I'd, anything that improves loyalty, we'd love as well. Anything that improves loyalty. Don't need any more influence. We have like unlimited influence now. Um, hearth is increased. That's kind of cool. One loyalty in settlement when settlement cult, same culture. Eh. Don't really need it in same culture. Okay, cool. I think that's fine. Let, let's just leave it at that for now. So how many soldiers can we have now? It hasn't updated yet. Can we upgrade any more of these guys as well? Oh my god, we can. We're gonna be at, we're literally gonna have like like a capacity of like 500 men. Oh my god, all of these lead. Look at all these these oh my god, it's so good. So many Praetorians. Our cavalry force is literally just 23 Praetorians now. Okay. Have they sort of their arm? Okay, they are recruiting soldiers as well, so they're doing something. Cool. What I was going to do, sorry, before we uh, we stop, is I was going to sort out my garrison, right? So let's go to the keep. Let's go to the garrison. Let's drop everybody over. Yeah. 480 men. Wow, that's insane. Okay, let's go by tier. Take all the good soldiers. Uh, not you guys, the Optios, the Elites. You guys. Take the Sacred Band, the Spanish soldiers. Uh, we'll have some Dacians in there. And then the cavalry, I need to... I'll take all the cavalry. I want to have a big cavalry force in this army. And I'll, yeah, we'll take 100 of you guys as well. Why not? How do you not like the purple? It makes me imperial. I like it. I like it. So, I think for now, you guys are going to have to suck it up. How do you guys not like the purple? It looks Persian. You guys are fools. I can't be red. I can't be red until we've killed them. There's already a red Roman. It's already red Roman. I think it looks really good on the shields as well. Yeah, I think you're right, Manic Spartan. It's because we are not called the, the purple potatoes. I think, I think white as a base color would look gross on our shields, though. Uh, sorry, what was I doing here as well? Uh, let's go to the keep. Let's go to the garrison. Let's get the last couple of men that we need. Okay, cool. So we'll take all the elites, of course. Uh, don't care about horse archers. Take the cavalry. Just filling out our army, right? Cavalry will take. We'll leave every... Yeah, rest of cavalry here. We've got a lot of horse in this army now as well. I'm basically a one-man army already. Yeah, I'm literally a one-man army. Okay, let's go recruit some more soldiers. At least let me let, at least let me fight a battle with it so we can see what it looks like in battle. And if it looks gross in battle, I accept it and I will change it. How about that? I feel like that's fair. I feel like that is more than fair. Well, 
Let's go kill the rebellion in the north. And then if it looks horrible... Oh, there's Zero. Should we try and marry her? I know I've just, like, seceded and stuff, but do you want to marry? Probably still love me, like, a great deal. Era, come back, my love. Imagine chasing after... Oh, she's going to war. God damn it. Who, sh who are they at war with? But of course, the Germanians. All right, let let's head over here then. We'll recruit up and I'll go deal with a rebellion. We'll see what it looks like. I uh, think we just take everybody now. They'll upgrade over time. We did, we did take a lot of elites as well, which is nice. That is crazy how much. Yeah, 480 men is just wild. And we have a lot of cavalry as well, which I'm really happy with. If we do that and then go by type. Yeah, that's, that's a decent cavalry force. 23 Praetorians and then like 100 horses. And we have all of this we can recruit as well if we need to in a pinch. Not that I think at this point we're going to need it. And our front line is just very good as well. I feel like after all this time, Martin, we need to just stick with Legio 2, you know? Legio 2 Augustus was their, their legion for some time, right? That was like the beginning of the first books. I think you guys are just hating on my, my glorious purple, you know? All right, let's, let's go deal with these guys now. We have a thousand men in defense. What? We're definitely starving them out. Do we have enough food to do that? Probably not, right? Let's buy some food and then we'll go starve them out. There we go, boom. Nice. Uh, let's grab as many companions as we can muster. You guys are already in an army, whatever. You guys will join me in this uh, Eternal Crusade. I think that looks nice. I don't know what you guys are yapping about. I think that looks good. This is actually going to be quite a hard rebellion as well. Luckily, we can make breaches, but there's a lot of men here. Oh, and he's joining. Okay, maybe not. He's joining me with his men now. Let's make. Let's make. Let's destroy the artillery for sure. Ooh, oh, oh. Okay, the Germanians have declared war on us. Okay. I'm. To be honest, I'm surprised it took this long. So we are once again fighting the Germanians. They're also fighting Rome though, as well, right? No, they're just okay. They're just fighting me now as well. Rome must have peed. That must have been a quick war for them then. Okay, um, then we need to conquer this quickly. But is this just like going to rebel again? I wonder. Oh, they okay. This, we have to save this anyway. They they join. That's so funny. They actually joined the rebellion. That's hilarious. Okay, we're out of the frying pan. The colors need to change. The council council has spoken. Hey, I am the emperor. I only listen to bribes, okay? Someone wants to give five members? Okay, cool. I'll take that bribe. I'll change our color to what the Senate wants. But I, I like purple right now. Okay, do we, do we make a breach? Yeah, we made a breach, right? Yeah, cool. Okay, let, let's, well, let's destroy this last artillery piece. Also wait till the daytime. Okay, let's go. Let's drop a save. You know, I am... I am a man who is who is very, you know... <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that, to be honest. Let's go. Let's take this out. <laughs> Thank you, Vortex. At least Vortex is with me. Oh my god, it's this map again. Like, look at that. I think that looks dope. No? I guess everybody does look like their Praetorian. Oh my god, look at that guy. I guess everybody looks like their Praetorian. Everybody, yeah. And maybe it's a bit much. But hey, I'll change it for five gifted members. Uh, oh, we breached both. Nice. Cool. Just forward, boys. Into the abyss. 
Everybody does look like they're royal to be yeah, like everybody does look like they're higher stature. It makes the Praetorians look less cool. I will I will grant you that. But also maybe we are just like a royal we are the Holy Roman Empire after all. I I don't think white would be nice. Like I remember I've done white before. And I feel like white isn't as nice as you guys think it is. Alright boys, just push through. They have a lot of men, but they're all trash, so we can just cut them down. You like yellow? I wouldn't mind yellow. Like yellow would be interesting. Again, I, I don't... Oh my god, there's a lot of archers there. Holy crap. I kind of like purple, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what we'll do is every time someone gifts five members, uh, I'll change the color. <laughs> so we'll just constantly keep changing the color of our empire. How about that? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think white would be nice. I feel like I've done it before. And it just, yeah, it just looks a bit like bright. Oh my god, we are just destroying these guys. It's not even close, man. Look at that green. Oh my lord. We are just... Yeah, okay. Look at that. There's one red. There's two, a couple red. And we are just like cutting them to pieces. There we go. Man, that was brutal. Brutal's definitely been the word of the stream as well. I have said that so many times. Yeah, and it's all down to the purple. The only reason we're getting this many kills is because of the purple. It makes us go faster. It's like orcs, you know? When they paint something red, it goes faster. Is it red that they do? It's something like that. Okay, the Dacian reinforcements are coming in. Nice. What about... um? So, yeah, we'll take all them troops as well for sure. We don't need the prisoners. 75 men in reserve. Okay, so this war is going to be... Kind of dangerous, honestly. There's a lot of enemies to kill. I think I need 43,000 experience. Yeah, we need that. We'll take the horses, though, of course. Yeah, we'll change our name. The Holy Roman Empire, I guess, doesn't fit. We're going to... Should I devastate this? Notables, power, loyalty, party, morale, prosperity. Yeah, let's just do that. I don't want it as well. Someone else can have it. I'll let them, I mean, this place has rebelled so many times, so I feel like it's only fair that we come in and ruin it. Oh, though now, it should actually be in a decent spot because we no longer have all the, um, all the negative, all the negative things. We now no longer have the negative laws that the Empress has had. Okay, so we conquered that. Good, good, good. Nice. Good job, boys. Um, yeah, let's drop a save. Okay. What's like? What about like Pax, Ro Pax Romana, something like that? You guys gotta give me a good name for the empire. Uh, I don't really care who gets it. Do you, who, who has the most settlements? I guess you can have it. Pax Pup Romana. All right. Well, give me a good name. You guys can't just. Say how bad my... We're actually gaining loyalty as well now. Nice. Good job. Okay, cool. So let's, let's build up anyone else we can. I mean, we've got everybody, right? You know, we've got everybody we can recruit. Um, and then I guess we just push across the, the, the Danube, right? Or the, yeah, the Danube. This is the Danube still, right? Yeah. Yeah. So more people, yeah, loads of people leveling up now as well, which is nice. You can raid faster. More morale when defending, because if you're defending, you're probably in a bad spot. This guy's leveled up as well. You can have cheaper party wages. And uh, you leveled up as well. Are you leading men? I don't know if you are leading men. Either way, I guess you can have some bonuses there. And a bonus there. Let's do that. 
You, yeah, she is leading men, so we can level up our stewardship party. Cool. The Persian Rome. I can't believe you guys don't like the, the purple. Okay, so we have 700 men. We actually don't have... Are they fighting? Oh, they're fighting. Help is on the way. Oh my god, we're going to arrive just in time. Okay, let's help out. Oh, I think that looks clean. Okay, let's do it. I mean, again, I know this is an easy battle, but we need we need to send the Germanians a lesson. And I need to continue on my extermination. I need to show them that even just because I'm I'm a different colour now, doesn't mean I can't just exterminate them still. How much cavalry do we have? Is that 50? Yeah, I think we have 50 horse. Yeah, 50 horse. And I think it's like all Praetorian cavalry as well. Yeah, this is literally all Praetorian cavalry. Wow, that's nice. Uh, sorry, boys. Hold fire. What the hell are you guys doing? Don't throw your javelins at a random horse. Yeah, look, St Stevens, Stevens, um, aunt loves purple. So, hey, but the horse archers are coming in. Should be easy enough to kill. Like, why aren't you guys killing them? You know. Oh, they have a lot of cavalry. Okay, okay, they actually have a lot of cavalry. Boys, turn. We'll use this mountain side as our defense. Yeah, you guys are going to rip them apart, which is good. We need this flank to curve in, though. They have 90 horse out there. And our cavalry can come, obviously, get ready to counter charge. Oh, we have cavalry there as well. Wow. Okay, everybody fire at will now. Throw your javelins back, please. Oh, horse went down. Well, what we'll do, actually, is we'll give over to AI the cavalry. Yeah, cavalry, go kill them. No, Cavalry, don't go, like, that way. Go deal with, like, these guys. Why? God, God Cavalry, man. They're, like, charging the front lines. Because, yeah, that's what I want you guys to do, obviously. Sorry, not complaining. That was not a complaint. That was me observing what they were doing. Let's bring around the flank now. Javelins are coming out, doing a great job. It's going to be nice fighting some Germanium fodder for a while, especially when we outnumber them so much. You guys charge now. But yeah, it's the sheer amount of Germanian cavalry is going to be the biggest problem, right? That's where their strength lies, is just how much horse that they have. Uh, you guys just go after the archers. I don't think we're going to need that much support. It would be cool if I could, like, choose a colour for my, for, like, my, my clan, I and mean, then everybody else in the kingdom gets a colour as well. Like, it'd be cool if my army was purple and everybody else's was a different color. Yeah, just pursue them. Sorry, what are we listening to? Okay, Rome. Good. Just double checking it was Rome Total War music and not something else that we shouldn't be listening to. Okay, let's move after the archers still. You guys charge. Push, push, push. You guys are still chasing. Cavalry causing issues. We should obviously still continue to push on. Uh, you guys charge now. Charge, charge, charge. Yeah, you guys are broken through. Yeah, the infantry is now down. It's now just char charging down what remains. Black and gold could be kind of cool. Black and gold would be kind of cool. I'll say that. I'll say that. Oh, yeah, there's already a black and gold faction, though. Yeah, you are right. <laughs> hey, I, I threw it down. Uh, for now, we're going to stay purple. Uh, but if someone gifts five members, then they can decide the color of the empire. And the name. Why not? And every every time... I gotta be funny. Every time someone gifts five members, then they can then change the name. Or the color. The first person to do it gets to choose the name and the color of the empire... Then from that point on, whenever anybody else gifts it, they can then change one of them. 
That's going to be it. So we'll be streaming this next week as well, I think. We'll have an episode on Sunday, and then we'll, finish, like, then we'll stream some more. And it'll basically just be big combat, I think. Out, chat hurt. It's just cavalry though left now. This Germanian army was already smashed by already fighting. Let's pursue them. I think by that they are running. They are done this day. Cool, our first good battle. Hopefully we capture some people to execute because, you know, we, we got to throw down the gauntlet. We got to show them that. Uh, we are here to, to to not mess around. I can't be having these Germanic hordes at my border every... Oh, we got three people. And that's not a bad start. Not a bad start. Look at the upgrades as well. 450 legionaries upgraded there. Bunch of cow upgrades as well. Good job. Uh, I'd rather have 45,000 experience, to be honest. Get the army up to scratch. Hunt him down quickly. So we're going to catch him. Good job. Take the butter, why not? Okay, a good first little war right there. Our first little engagement. We still have 700 men, so I think we we push. I think we cross the river. And we set this under siege. Because we still have a seven up we still have an army there that's building up. We have a few wounded. Um, someone said yellow and brown. I want to see what yellow and brown looks like. It's a bit bright. Do we have a darker yellow? Like like a more of an orange. I kind of like that. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I kind of feel like they need like a border. If they had like a black border around it, it'd look really good. I'm, I'm, again, I, I've said, I've said my piece. We are going to be purple. Purple and gold? We have purple and white. I'm going to have purple and gold. Uh, yeah, I like I like purple and gold a lot, honestly. That's disgusting. <laughs> well, I, I've said my piece, so... You guys... You guys know. Hello. Oh my god, you're wet. My dog's just come in and she is soaking. Oh, you had a bath, have you? Oh, you had a bath. You are... Yeah, Shane, have had a bath. Sorry. <laughs> She's soaking. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah, let's set this under siege. They're going to probably bring more troops, but yeah, I think starving them out and making a breach. Oh, God, executions as well. I, li I like to think... Oh, my God, 57 upgrades as well. Our army is getting so elite. I like to think that we are, we've taken, like, we've got to the walls. And then, like, we're we're basically executing their lords outside of the walls, you know? Showing them what will happen if they don't surrender. Take the color of Rome that we conquer. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Okay, well, that's three less to worry about. Uh, so we do want to probably build... Yeah, we definitely want to at least want to clear their artillery out, you know. And yeah, we, we probably also want to starve them out their seven days because it just gets rid of 300 men. And the nice thing is we have all of these guys like roaming around. So they should be able to deal with a lot of the forces. I, I love the purple and gold, honestly. I think we look sick. Oh god, sorry. Let's do that. Check your parties. I, I can't be bothered to go through that. Like, every party just execute them. Because I'm pretty sure they just also generate lords a lot of the time as well. So, Okay, they're sieging that now. Which is fine. Because they've only just started sieging it. So, we'll get this siege done quickly. And then we, we, it's not that far away. And to be fair as well, we have other armies as well that can help out.
Uh, let's make sure we keep up. Also, we, they could also come at us as well. We have one more day worth of food. So I think... Let's build up a bit of artillery and siege equipment. Because I don't think we're going to have time to do this. But we at least have time to starve them out. But yeah, I mean, it is a good suggestion, Martin, for sure, to clear out the people in my parties, but I can't bother to do that. Like, it's fine. We'll kill them bit by bit. Get some catapults as well to help clear out the walls. Okay, we're good to go now, right? I think... Oh my god, they've actually cleared out a lot of my... Um... Yeah, I guess we go. Let's leave the assault. We need to go now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's push. Assemble the ranks. Oh, God. Very foresty battle map. Yeah, we just need to get to the walls quickly. The one siege tower and then, the, and then ladders over here, yeah. We just need to get up there as quickly as possible. Look at all the javelins as well. We need to get up here quickly. I think the purple and gold looks good. I'm just going to say. We need to get up here quickly and we need to take care of the, um, the artillery. Let me go. There we go. Cool. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in, boys. I'm in. Oh, the Zarge is behind me. No. Oh, God. Ah. Oh, God damn it. I knew that was going to kill me. The artillery uh, siege tower has been destroyed, I would kind of only assume. Oh, we're an archer now. Cool. Let's do some archer gameplay then. There's no one in here to shoot. Raining Pelum as well. Uh, let's get our way over here then so we can start shooting. God, they are really killing a lot of my men. Holy crap, look at that guy go! The boys are kind of getting up there, you know. Let's see if we can just help out as much as we can. That was hilarious. Uh, by the way, as well, guys, if you are enjoying the stream, please do drop a like and a comment. It really helps out a lot. Uh, and I appreciate everybody who's uh, taking the time to hang out today as well. Oh, that was friendly. My bad, my bad. See if we can nail some of these archers coming across. A little bit higher. I'll be wounding him enough. That's good enough for me. There we go. That's another one taken care of. How are the boys doing? Uh, it seems like they're fighting hard enough up here to, to keep us at bay for now. Just thrusting. We need to get further back to get arrows up here for the arc. It seems like they're doing a pretty good job. I feel like archery is something we just have not done this entire campaign. It seems like there's just like a bunch of archers here now. We should be fine. Hopefully the boys are making their way through the gate as well now. That'll help us out massively. God, who would have thought me choosing the color purple would spark this much debate? Should have just should have just gone for should have just gone for red, red and gold, and be be done with it, you know. How are we still not up and over yet? 
There you go. I think I can see the boys. Yeah, the boys are clearing out now. There you go. Coming in from both sides. Yeah, we got them. Good job. Uh, I mean, we did lose like 400, 300 men, 200 men. It's not bad, though. For the boys, indeed, Mark has again. Two of them left now. Yeah, through the gates. We are marching through the streets. People glitched out, I think. Yeah, so people glitched out, so we can just control shift F4. Finish them off. Nice, nice, nice. Good job. Cool. Lots of prisoners. I don't really care about prisoners because I want to obviously only have soldiers I can recruit. So we'll leave for now. Again, we'll take the 30,000 experience. Our army is going to be like max tier in no time. Uh, we'll show mercy as well. I don't want this settlement, so we'll leave it. Yeah, filthy barbarians. Uh, cool. So let's trade in our gear. I feel like we're carrying some stuff. Are we not? No, we're not. Okay. I guess also we'll probably just grab some horses as well if they have some. Yeah, let's just grab all these saddled horses. Let's leave and let's head south. We obviously need to lift the siege down in the south. So let's do that. We've, there's already one, a small army there, yeah. So let's head back across the Danube. We're actually very close to already winning this war as well. Let's obviously give this over to someone. Oh, yeah. Something we could do as well is maybe the next element we take, we actually make another clan. Because what we can do is we can make some of our companions into clans and then just get more companions. That is something we can completely do as well. Not a bad shout, really. Okay, they are attacking. We'll wait till daytime to help out, right? We have time. Yeah. God, sorry. They have 400 defenders there. There's like no point even attacking this, you know? Look at that. You love to see it. The other armies as well looking strong, like... Take the extra 60 men and then... Yeah, we'll wait We'll wait a little bit. They are attacking, right or not? I don't even know if they're attacking. That would be cool. That would be a really cool thing. Oh my god, look at that! So, <laughs> that's funny. So the civil war that was raging in uh, in Spain has now ended and the, the Bizamahos Empire has arisen. Basically, the Byzantine Empire. Uh, yeah, so these guys have broken free. So Spain, Spain is completely lost, basically, to the Romans. The Romans have a couple settlements, and that's about it. Uh, that is funny. That is really funny. Oh, this would actually be a good settlement to go and take as well. That color. Yeah, you guys complaining about my the color of my faction. Let alone this. This We could be this. So count yourself, count yourself lucky. So yeah, I think I think what we do is we wrap up this war with the Germanians. We smash this army. I probably then go and conquer this city from them, and then we go to war with the Romans. They only have one, two, three, four, five settlements left, like in the entire game. We wipe them out. Then we go to war with Carthage. Um, and then we have some fun, you know, then we maybe call it a day in the campaign, you know, we'll see how it is, we'll see how things go. First things first, though, we have to go finish off his army. It's actually not a, 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 like, not a bad army whatsoever. Oh, our pole arm went up perfect, that means that we now, our soldiers get a massive weapon increase. This is big as well, so now, we now just get an extra 25 party size from that, and then every, every extra experience we now get just gives us party size. That's pretty big. This guy's at 100 and... This guy's pumping as well. Uh, who else has the point? You do? Nice. Yeah, we now... We're almost at 500 soldiers just in my army. Which means we can actually just recruit a bunch of prisoners now as well. We can literally recruit all of these guys. 
Is that going to tank my morale? Not really. It kind of did, but not really. Okay, they're attacking now, so let's wait till daytime and help out. Uh, cool. Yeah, we have a foul. Do we even need to fight? I guess we will. This will probably be the last battle of the stream, so. What would be really cool if you could do? So let's just start off with our three cohorts. I might just do like a foot on, you know, a foot on like triple line. Why not? I imagine it'd be really good dealing with cavalry. A full on triple line. We'll put you in command of the second line. Everybody hold fire for now because they, they actually have to attack us as well, I think. Uh, this has been a great stream, though, today. I feel like we've accomplished so much. There's so much cavalry. Wow, there's so much cavalry. Thank you very much for the bless yous. Okay, let's take the Praetorian Guard. Follow me, boys. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go over here. Deal with the horse archers. Oh, hello, hello. We're gonna charge into the Germanic cab for sure. Let's just deal with this guy quickly. A few lone archers. Let's form up on me, boys. Form up. Let's get into a nice little tight formation, please. Form up into a shield wall. Let's go. We just need to hit into them as much as possible. Some good kills so far. I'm going to keep on missing. The nice thing is as well, we're also wasting a lot of the ammunition. Okay, the armies can now fire as well. So all the infantry fire at will now. So we should see, look look off in the distance. You're going to see so many javelins going flying. Well, God, this is actually perfect for us as well. Being in this tightly packed line. Because it means they can't use their speed to get out. So we should be able to use our swords and just start cutting them down. Yeah, we're killing a lot. A lot of peel and being thrown out, I can imagine. Are you guys now going to a wedge formation? I feel, maybe a column. Let's see what their cavalry is like in a column. It's crazy how we're just one-shotting this cavalry, though. Literally just point and click a point and click adventure. Oh, he almost got me there though. Okay, let's head back. Let's head back to the battle line. We gotta remember this is still a, a contested battle for sure. There may obviously have an entire another flank as well. Let's make our way over. Okay, do we need to send him a second line? I think we second send him a second line. Reinforcements! To the front lines! Reinforce! Okay, the second line should be there to help out and just push them back a little bit. I feel like they have barely any infantry left now, though. I feel like we've already crushed their infantry line, so. Yeah, and the third line's completely untouched. I like I like this new formation. I think this is gonna be the go-to formation uh, for a little while. Uh, and then you guys go uh, into a nice little box so you can help deal with all the cav. I'm going to clash into you. I just get stuck and die. Ooh, good hit by him, to be fair. And obviously we need to go deal with the archers still. Archers and obviously all of their... Uh, all of their cavalry. Man, I, w I wish... Um, I wish cavalry did better against archers, you know? You get like a good charge, it just absolutely devastate them. I'm being blessed in German. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I think it's just the cavalry left now. Yeah, it's literally just cavalry. I think we've crushed everything else. Yeah, literally. So let's just uh let's just form a form a square with everybody. Yeah, 
I think that cab's just gonna run now. Yeah, that cab just fle uh, fleed. Nice, easy stuff. Cool, more people to execute. I mean, they can't have many people left, right? They just can't. Uh, I'll get some, any Dacians we have will upgrade with the Falshes because this is good aggressive infantry. Uh, cool, we'll take the experience again. Nice. 40 upgrades, I mean. Whew, it's not bad. I and mean, we can still have 500 men as well. It's pretty gnarly. Barely lost anybody. The army is only 500 men and going off. Good. We'll make sure we execute quickly. Um, so let's do that. Let's execute. We need food as well. That is important. I feel like hopefully this war will crush for Ger crush for Germanians though. You know, I mean we still have eight thousand men, but nah, not that good. Okay, I want to come over here with my army. I w I would like to take this. I think I also need to buy food along the way. Uh, let's go to this cattle, I guess. Hopefully the army takes some castles as well. Um, so yeah, I'll buy all of that food. It's 70 food. It's not really a lot, but... Uh, maybe, maybe I'll head back to my capital quickly. Grab up some food and then come back. <laughs> we get, we do also need to marry. That is something that we, we don't need to do it, but it would be kind of cool, you know, now that I have achieved my goals... Okay, let's go grab some food and then yeah as i said i want to oh they just rebelled interesting interesting i guess we go back i don't really want to push back deep into Gallic territory but we might have to or into into germany but we can also have more men as well if we want to let's buy, buy some mercenaries why not um let's buy some mercenaries and we're here for food right We could also buy a bunch of horses. Like, just a bunch. Sure, let's buy like 100, why not? Just make us faster, right? Uh, and then we need like all the food. Yeah, we can literally just do that. Literally buy it all. We're literally buying it all. Wow, nice. All right, cool. Well, I think that is where we're going to wrap up the stream today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out today. I really do appreciate it. We might do a bonus stream on Monday. Uh, normally we stream every Wednesday and every Wednesday and Friday. We might do a bonus stream on Monday. Um, so keep an eye out for that. It'll be the same time as usual. Um, but yeah, normally if, if we don't do it then, we'll stream Wednesday, Friday. I'm going to do an episode of this series. Uh, probably finishing off the Germanic Wars on Sunday. Um, yeah, so there'll be an episode, probably be like 40, 50 minutes on Sunday, and then we'll just continue on, on, on Monday. I thought we'll just continue on playing this campaign because it's been a lot of fun. Um, and there's not really much else to stream until like Mana Lords comes out next month. And Frostpunk, we'll stream some Frostpunk when that comes out as well. That'd be pretty good. And but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today. We had really good viewers, so I appreciate that. It was a great stream. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. If you guys have, if you guys are heading out, uh, make sure to drop a like on the stream it really does help out it means a lot please also go check out my previous um uh please go check out my previous uh, video from yesterday as well i'd really appreciate that it'd mean a lot if you guys could yeah go check that one out uh, i'll link it in chat before you guys go just go give it a watch it's only like a, a 17 minute video i'll stick it in chat quickly yeah go go check out that video uh, yeah, I'd really, really appreciate it. Go drop a like on that. Drop a comment as well would help out massively. Um, yeah, everybody else have a great rest of your weekend. Um, have a good bank holiday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, purple is the best color. <laughs>